Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, it's caucus day in Iowa. It's all kicking off, and the molders and manipulators of perception, they've got all these articles out about polls show landslide for Mr. Abortion, Mr. Open Borders, Mr. Carbon Tax, Mr. Obamacare author Mitt Romney. All part of the perception management. But I actually went and looked at more than 10 polls this morning, all scientific, and Ron Paul is winning five of them. And Mr. Romney is winning the other five. So it is a dead heat. If you look at a spectrum of polls, their, their photo finish, where they've got to you know, take that snapshot at the Indy 500 or at the horse race to see which car or which horse's nose was an inch ahead. It's like instant replay. Did they get the first down on that play? But instead, the, the PSYOP is running to try to make Iowans feel like, well, I want to vote for the winner. You know, I liked Ron Paul, but, you know, they say Romney's going to win, so I better just go ahead and vote for him. And after all, they say that Iowa is so important, but not if Ron Paul wins. It discredits Iowa. I better vote for Romney. And, of course, even if Paul wins now, they're having secret counting of the different precinct tallies at a secret location because Anonymous has come to town and is protesting Ron Paul and is threatening to shut down and hack things. Now, Anonymous is just some blank wall that good people can do political action under and bad people can. But I've always said anything that calls itself anonymous and doesn't have a manifesto is dangerous because then the system can do things in your name. Kind of like Occupy Wall Street was not supposed to have any political basis, any political standing. We're just against Wall Street, which then translated against capitalism. And it turned out it was the White House. It was George Soros behind it. But they left it as a blank slate so good people would show up, diverse crowds, so they could then project their ideas of controlled opposition onto them. It didn't work. So uh, the government first was endorsing and saying, come out and take over and we'll pass more taxes to give you what you want. But as soon as we went in and woke them up to end the Fed and the New World Order, and now the mega rich, the mega elite use big government to shut down their competition, they flushed Occupy Wall Street down the toilet and demonized it everywhere. And now you don't hear about it. That was an attempt at triggering a revolution before the real one comes. Very, very simple. That's what they're doing. It's elementary, but the general public is just now starting to get it. And the truth is there. We've just got to get it out to everyone. Now, obviously, we're going to break down more of NDAA, the huge developments in Iran right out of the break. A Marine facing a whole bunch of time in prison for walking into the airport and saying, I'm here to check my gun, which is totally legal in almost every state. But they just pounced on him and are throwing the book at him because the system is geared towards law-abiding gun owners and particularly veterans. So we're going to be breaking all of that down today as well. And I have another London Independent article here. Crackdown on small firms, a blind eye for big businesses. And this is a breakdown uh, out of England, but I've seen similar articles here in the United States where they've almost cut down to nothing. IRS enforcers on big Fortune 100 who were basically exempt and pay no taxes. But the general public, in fact, blue-collar workers are having the book thrown at them. And then lower middle class and middle middle class and upper middle class are being hammered. Absolutely hammered. You're making $40,000 a year. IRS constantly sends people letters saying, oh, uh, we calculated you owe $2,000 more. Squeezing the little guy. We'll be right back. I'm going to open the phones up in this first hour. We've got a lot of big guests today. We've got Ron Paul's brother joining us. Uh, we've also uh, got one of the Baldwin brothers joining us. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, 
uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. I have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. Did you ever think you'd be where you are a decade into the 21st century? Record foreclosure rates for homes, if not yours, your neighbors. Thankful for the unemployment check since you were laid off and placing your child's name on the angel tree in hopes of a Christmas gift, along with thousands of other Americans. Did you ever think your future would feel this out of control? The fact is, in all this craziness, there's only one thing you can control, your greatest dependency, your food supply. Make 2012 the year you take control by getting prepared. eFoods Direct introduces the best way to build your food supply in the 21st century. Get a 21-day supply of food free with purchase. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Take back control in 2012. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Remember, you can bet your life on eFoods Direct. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. the big day, the kickoff officially of the 2012 presidential election, the Iowa caucuses. We're going to be tracking this throughout the three hours and on InfoWars Nightly News tonight, 7 o'clock, transmitted from InfoWarsNews.com. And we have Wayne Paul, brother of Congressman Ron Paul, uh, joining us to talk about uh, his view of what's happening in this country, Wayne is a longtime anti-Federal Reserve, anti-New World Order uh, activist. And we'll get uh, Wayne to also give us uh, his take on who Ron Paul really is and what he thinks of all of these attacks. And we'll open the phones up so you'll have a chance to talk to Wayne Paul. That is coming up today. I have a New Year's resolution that when I do take calls, I want to go to them quickly and I want to take a lot of them. And I have a tendency to get so caught up myopically in news and in analysis and in basically ranting and raving that I, I, I don't go to as many calls as I'd like to. Because there's only one person that's my boss here on the radio, and that's, that's unfortunately Alex Jones. Um, I'm actually an old hand at radio. I've been doing it almost 17 years. It'll be 17 years in about a month. But... Uh, I, I tend to like the shows where I mix it up with audio and video clips and analysis and different news items and cover some science and technology and cover some news of the strange. 
and take a lot of calls and have interesting guests on. That's the shows that I like. And I go off of what I like. Now, listeners have told me they like it when I rant and rave for two hours straight. I understand that. Uh, but callers are so good because they take us in different directions. They raise issues I wasn't aware of. A lot of times they bring up local news that we then go find, write an article about, and then next it's on the Drudge Report. So calls are key, and my New Year's resolution is to work more of them into the show. So here's the deal. I'm going to give the number out, and I'm going to go to your calls in this segment and throughout the hour interspersed with, with key news. And we're going to have a lot of calls for Wayne Paul. CPA, political activist, patriot uh, as well. And then we're going to have open phones again in the third hour. I was going to have uh, Chuck Baldwin's son, who's a great patriot on, but so much is going on with the caucuses. I want to talk about states' rights with them. I'm going to work on getting him on tomorrow or on the nightly news because I'd left a note, and I think the producers, well, it said get him on today, and I meant tomorrow. So we're going to uh, work on doing that uh, tomorrow. apologize uh, to Mr. Baldwin because I want to be able to, cover the news in the third hour, and take your calls. Here is the toll-free number to join us, 1-800-259-9231. Obviously, I'd like to get your take on the presidential election, on the Republicans saying that they're going to count the votes in secret to protect its integrity. See, that's the riddle hidden in plain view of national security. You let the government operate in secret and have unlimited funds and power, and now they're saying, we'll kill U.S. citizens, we'll secretly arrest you for national security, we're overthrowing the Bill of Rights and Constitution, which is the country. So the force you set up to supposedly protect the country is what always ends up being used in Rome and in many other civilizations and empires to bring it down. Our founding fathers, all of them wrote articles and books and gave speeches where they talked about, at nauseum, uh, the United States will not fall from without. No army can stand against us. We have an armed, informed citizenry who's ready to fight. they just beaten the greatest empire in the world who'd never been defeated. A ragtag band beat them because they were willing to fight. They said, we will only fall from within. And the system menaces the public and says, Iran's going to nuke you if you don't uh, you know, elect Mitt Romney or... Santorum. That was the talking point on talk radio nationally and locally. And I just thought, here's Israel rumored to have 800 nuclear weapons, confirmed to have over 400, cruise missiles, submarines, uh, ICBM delivery systems, Knesset statements about Europe better do what we want, we've got nukes. I, I mean, Israel's one of the biggest nuclear powers in the world with a super high-tech system, and nobody is going to mess with them. People say, oh, well, the Iranians want war right now. They're crazy. They think it's the end of the world. Funny, I see Christian websites. I see comments on my videos, and I go to the people's YouTube channels, and they're like, praise the Lord. I want Armageddon to begin. B nuke the Middle East now. Well, Iran's not even in the Middle East, but you can't even basically explain that to some people. I Iran has sat there and taken the West Israel, the U.S., and England blowing up their military bases in the last five years. Five years ago, Bush put out a White House press release that we covered here on air saying, the White House has activated four freedom-fighting groups out of Iraq to attack and destabilize Iran. And those groups are all, except for the Kurd group, Al-Qaeda. Same Al-Qaeda our government has now used to take over Libya and is now used to begin the invasion of Syria on record. And now it's in what Associated Press, Press TV and other publications today that the United States on the Lebanese, that is the banks that have hijacked our country, headline U.S. setting up buffer zone on Lebanon-Syrian border. So the invasion beachhead is now starting. That's what they called it, uh, the invasion with U.S., British, and other troops backing up the invasion of Libya, they called it humanitarian corridors. They, they're setting up a humanitarian, like the humanitarian love bombs. And now Obama says he doesn't need congressional approval or even debate or even consultation 
First, it's no declaration of war. Then it's congressional approval. Then it's congressional consultation. And now I don't need your stinking consultation. And now the Congress has voted and Obama has signed it, the NDAA, to empower the president to secretly arrest or kill U.S. citizens in the U.S. or anywhere in the world, torture, you name it. Congress is just ceding all of its power. Now, again, Obama himself, this is a paradox, is a teleprompter reading puppet who's on vacation probably 10 days out of the month on average. More vacation than George W. Bush because they're puppets. Bill Clinton was hardly ever on vacation. And when he was, he was working because he was a, such a wicked globalist that they actually trusted him to actually run things. Bill Clinton, people say the last president was Kennedy. That's not true. Kennedy was a president that didn't follow the globalist orders and tried to be president and they killed him. Clinton is the, is, is the last president, and, and George Herbert Walker Bush to a certain extent as well actually ran things. But Clinton was the last one to really run things. Because they're like, well, you're anti-freedom, anti-America, anti-Second Amendment, total global communist for the mega banks to destroy all competition, and take over. We are going to let you run things. And Clinton would reportedly sleep about three hours a night and was involved in every major decision. The point is the power structure, the bureaucracy wants the executive to have dictator powers. And that's what they're doing now. And it's so dangerous, words cannot describe it. So I want to ask callers, what do you make of, and of course, Lou Rockwell is pointing it out, many others are pointing out, this looks super suspicious that they're taking the voting behind closed doors. And now saying it's going to be a, 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 a Romney landslide. When all the polls show Ron Paul in first or second place, they're now creating the hoax that, nope, it's a landslide. Everybody turned against Paul. Are they getting ready for a big scam? Because you know they'll do it. I mean, these are criminals. I want to ask you about that, and I also want to ask you, why do you think the system is openly getting rid of the Bill of Rights and Constitution and openly announcing they're going to get rid of the First Amendment and, and, and have selective Internet, Chinese-style Internet kill switches? Why do you think they're moving so fast now and the tyrants are coming out of the closet? Let's go to your phone calls. Thomas in Illinois, you're on the air. Welcome. Alex, I'll, I'll start your car for you anytime, brother. Thank you. Well, what's on your mind? Uh, just a couple things here. I just wanted to uh, um, first give uh, give out some props to Stitcher. I'm, I'm listening on my iPhone app, but I first found you through Stitcher. You ever heard about them? I know there's a whole bunch of different systems that list every online radio venue in the known galaxy. Uh, and uh, But no, I haven't heard of that particular one. Yeah, that's how I got you about a, about a year ago. Uh, one quick thing, and then I'll let you go. Um, do you think that, that Ron Paul should actually have Secret Service protection since he is one, two, or three in every single poll? Yes, uh, but, but, but uh, again, that's another paradox. It's normally the Secret Service that will actually bust a cap in you, and then they'll have some little patsy who's drugged up out of their mind, who they later tell, you know, when they wake up from the amnesia, like Sirhan Sirhan or others, oh, you did that. Did you know that? And, of course, court documents even come out on Sirhan Sirhan that that was a stage deal. The LAPD knew it was the government. They detained the guy who was actually seen shooting RFK. But, again, it just becomes a conspiracy theory because we all know the government wouldn't do wrong. So, yes, Ron Paul should have Secret Service protection as the you know, leading Republican candidate, undoubtedly. But you don't want Secret Service protection because they would just put guys in there that would step aside for him to get blown away and undoubtedly spy on Ron Paul. So if I was Ron Paul, I would not accept Secret Service protection. Right, right. It, at least the only the only good thing about it would, it would actually give people a uh, second thought of like, hey, he, he really can win. Well, look, it's a mind game. And, 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 and look, the globalists are almost out of political bullets. Great points. Before, if they said somebody couldn't win, he would have gone nowhere. But they've said he can't win, he can't win, he can't win, and he's at the front of the pack. So now they're pulling out all the stops, going completely bonkers. More of your calls straight ahead on the other side. Stay with us.
HempUSA.org brings you pure camu berry powder. This revolutionary powder contains 50 times the vitamin C of an orange, mixes with any juice or liquid, has 227 servings per container, and is made from naturally grown camu berries, not chemically produced in a laboratory. Order camu berry powder today. Call 908-691-2608 or visit HempUSA.org and see what our powder, seeds, and oil can do for you. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. You don't need me to tell you that humanity is in a deep crisis. Everyone can feel it. We know a tectonic struggle is now taking place between the forces of freedom and those who love darkness, bondage, and enslavement. Yes, my friends, evil is rising. But take heart. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Recently, New World Order operative Hillary Clinton admitted they're losing the info war. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. The globalists are scared. They've overreached. The future of the info war is in your hands. Join PrisonPlanet.tv. Download the thousands of special video reports, ebooks, and more, and get them out to everyone you know. Continue to spread the word about the broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and every other globalist propaganda platform. We are going to use their system against them. The info war now goes into high gear. Hi, I'm Mark Craighead, founder of Crossbreed Holsters. I designed our top-selling holster, the Super Tuck Deluxe, to solve the problems of being poked, pinched, and gouged while carrying concealed. The Super Tuck Deluxe is the most comfortable, most concealable holster on the market today. We offer a two-week free trial and a lifetime warranty. Visit us at crossbreedholsters.com. Don't forget, crossbreedholsters.com. In a coming apart world, you need something to keep it tied together. That something is Atwood Rope, the highest quality rope made in the USA from exotic braids for military, rescue, arborists, shipyards, tow line, or boating. Quality rope at affordable prices you and your customers can depend on. Find a dealer or shop online at atwoodrope.net. Enter promo code RADIO to receive 100 feet of 550 paracord free with purchase. Atwood Rope, working to keep the world tied together. By the way, later we're going to play the clip of this. Fox News, talk radio, they've all got a talking point going. You've heard it in the last month that the Iowa governor said the same thing. That if Paul bots give Ron Paul the victory in Iowa, they're just going to ignore it. And that they've basically changed the rules uh, in the uh, Republican uh, electoral process and that they'll just have a brokered convention and they have changed the rules so this just shows you who the rulers of the Republican Party are I was actually having dinner with uh, one of Rand Paul's uh, staffers or lunch the other day and uh, he, was, he was here in town and you know he, he was talking about how just to get Rand into the, the, the Republican uh, 
town hall meetings early on in Kentucky, they had to get thousands of, uh, of Ron Paul, Rand Paul supporters to threaten to stop giving Republicans donations to even get him in the events, even when he had already shown in the polls that he was going to win the primary. I mean, that's how these people operate. They will do anything to keep real libertarian constitutional conservatives out. Now, here is the headline. Republican insider GOP establishment planning to subvert Iowa to prevent Ron Paul win. And so we're going to be breaking all of this down. And then I saw another analyst last night on Fox saying, oh, well, if he does win, we're just going to ignore it. This is mind control. Speaking of mind control, I'm going to play uh, some clips we put together after I take more calls in the next segment of the John Huntsman ad. And we've actually gone and pulled world leaders calling for global government and, and, and saying that new world order means global government, including George Herbert Walker Bush talking about new world order. And then separately, Huntsman is spending most of his campaign money in Iowa playing clips from my films with Ron Paul talking about the new world order. And George Herbert Walker Bush saying New World Order and basically implying that Ron Paul's insane. So I'm going to show you the clip and then I'm going to show you the world leaders saying what Ron Paul said they said. So if Ron Paul walks out and says the sky is blue, but these people say it isn't, you're supposed to ignore your lying eyes. They think you're mindless children. They treat you like you're a lobotomized jellyfish. They have disdain for you because they sit up there with an appeal to authority in their suits on television looking into a camera. And so there's an appeal to authority and it must be true. That is so insulting. All right, I'm going back to your calls. Brian in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Welcome. Hello, Alex. Uh, big fan of yours. Uh, whether you know it or not, you were part of my intelligence network since you've been public uh, years ago. I run a counter-terror criminal espionage unit called Aqua Delta 69. I was offered to work for their killing teams, Cobra Vector 1, in 1978 and 79 as a silent killer, bow sniper, martial artist. I've investigated, starting with our local uh, police state police department we had in New Jersey in 1969, and... Uh, I have continued on with the investigation. We can prove Team B, Zebra Rattler 2, killed John Kennedy. We have overwhelming evidence to prove it. And confessions right from British MI6 that the Queen of England ordered his assassination. Everything you say is right on the money. Well, I know that E. Howard uh, Hunt, who ran assassination squads on record, uh, before he died, went public uh, and said that he had run the operation, and that dovetailed with... LBJ's widow, uh, uh, that is mistress, who on record was his mistress, Dadalyn, uh, Madeline Duncan Brown, I'm going from memory here. And then we also have his lawyer uh, who went public, uh, McClellan, and said that LBJ said that he'd had him killed. And then people spun that and said, well, Alex is saying that LBJ ordered the hit and it didn't go above LBJ. No, all of my sources were under LBJ, and that's as high as our confirmation goes. But I'd like you to send me some information. Oh, definitely. Uh, I've tried to send you in the past. I don't know if you got it. The Queen of England ordered it. MI6 made confessions. Bob Fletcher, I'm going to name him on the air. Bob Fletcher has a picture of the unit one month before they killed JFK. Oswald was Patsy, just like he said he was. He was working for the ONI, CIA, and the FBI. All right, sir. Well, I don't know who Bob Fletcher is, and I don't want to... Listen, just mail me a letter then with the information. If it gets lost in the thousands of emails or send it again to show tips at infowars.com because I would like to see that information. I appreciate your call. I mean, I'm not doubting the government tries to hire former military people to be assassins because just separately in my own family, I know that most of the people who were army officers in my family were approached to be domestic assassination teams. But not for citizens who were just you know, politically involved. They were tried to hire them to be assassins to kill drug dealers who weren't laundering their money through the U.S. government. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.
tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They so pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit Put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection. So you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. back live your phone calls are coming up uh, i would like to hear from listeners specifically about your view of the republicans openly announcing on tv and radio that the republican establishment just won't let ron paul win one way or the other that if he wins iowa they're just going to ignore it or that they might actually well here's the headline at prisonplanet.com republican insider gop establishment planning to subvert iowa to prevent Ron Paul win. We've got Ron Paul's brother, uh, Wayne Paul, joining us to talk about this and a lot more uh, in the second hour today. Then we'll continue with open phones uh, in the third hour, but we'll also take some calls for Wayne Paul. Uh, Wayne is a great patriot for more than, I don't know, 40 years or so fighting the private Federal Reserve. He's basically just like his brother. And he's a CPA that's famously fought the IRS and been involved in court cases beating him. I mean, this family is just 110% patriot, hard charging all the way. You see, I've known Ron Paul since 1996. And I see all these people saying he isn't real or he's New World Order with no proof or he's Masonic poobah with no proof. That is establishment COINTELPRO attacking him from the bottom, as Cass Sunstein said that they would do. The, the White House regulations are. He said the, the mainstream media has lost so much credibility that they're no longer the mainstream media. So the system has to pose as, quote, conspiracy theorist and alternative media. 
That means people that aren't bamboozled, people that aren't suckers, people that aren't fools. They have to pose as us because we have credibility to then create infighting. But when you <laughs> see Wayne Paul, I noticed the media never even picked up on this. Wayne Paul involved in, you know, cases out in Las Vegas with, you know, patriots and big IRS cases and challenging the IRS in federal court. I mean, just the whole family. And I know folks behind the scenes with Rand Paul, and he is just absolute anti-New World Order. Right down the line, he is just more polished than his father. Just amazing people. And they are great focal points for our movement of liberty to wake people up. So that's coming up uh, after I get to some of your phone calls. I wanted now, though, to get to this video. This is what Huntsman, a gentleman on record who's worked for Obama, so he's in good company with Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich, who were for carbon taxes, open borders, uh, gun control, uh, wrote the Obama plan, that's Romney, uh, Gingrich, an illuminous globalist supporting carbon taxes, open borders. I mean, you just can't make up how bad these guys are. And the system just keeps cramming them down everybody's throats. And as people learn about how bad they are, they turn against them. But in the case of Mitt Romney, if he does get the nomination, people are going to hold their nose and say, well, at least he's not Obama. Wait a minute. He will continue everything Obama's done. He's shown that in his actions. But he'll be a new face. And so it'll take a few years to expose him as a globalist traitor. It would be better just to keep Obama in there engaging in all his treason because at least politically he's garbage. He's spoiled. But it gives them a new fresh horse for the new world order to ride on if they get Romney in there. Remember, it's the Republican establishment that's voting for all this draconian police state garbage for Obama. All of these Republican and, and mainline neocon sites are freaking out over the NDAA and over all of the different MIAC and Homeland Security reports listing patriots and libertarians and conservatives as terrorists. And then meanwhile, it's the Republican Congress that's helping write the book on all of this. It's a ruling political class who poses and acts like they're having a fight with each other, but they're not. And I know that's understood by our listeners, but the general public hasn't completely figured that out yet. The, this has been the first time in memory, except for Pat Buchanan to a certain extent, you saw what they did with him. Clear election fraud, saying he couldn't win, demonization. Same thing with Ron Paul, but Ron Paul is... Five times better than Pat Buchanan. And Pat's a good person overall. I mean, Ron Paul is as good as it gets. As good as it gets. And so the system is pulling out every stop. So if you don't like what the system's doing, and you're sick of the status quo, and you're tired of things not changing, and you want real hope and change, Ron Paul. And, and I know our audience understands that, but it's so elementary. It's so simple, and it's so frustrating to see this disinformation. Now, Huntsman is getting desperate right now. He is in absolute, total, and complete panic mode. And he's going after Ron Paul because he has zero credibility. And everybody knows exactly who he is and what he stands for. And we have articles, again, breaking it down at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. There's a good New American article by Thomas Edlam breaking it down. John Huntsman grasping for straws in attacks on Ron Paul. And what do they do in this ad that uses a clip from Endgame? My seminal documentary on the globalist mindset. Not just that they want a world government, but what are they after? What, what drives our enemy? It's important to know that. It's key to know that. Now, looking at this, it is such an illustration that the top political ad companies that Huntsman and others have hired are going after Ron Paul 
for simply saying, yeah, Skull and Bones wields a lot of influence. Yeah, the CFR and Trilateral Commission do. I mean, both these groups have written thousands of publications. Thousands of publications. The Trilateral Commission's at 74, when David Rockefeller set it up, was the big Brzezinski. The CFR since 1922. I mean, they put out magazines, internet articles. Every two months, a big book comes out called Foreign Affairs, constantly calling for the end of sovereignty, world government. And so they take clips of Ron Paul talking about real things and imply that it's crazy. Now, think of the disdain that they have for the viewers. All these decades, they told you there's no new world order. All these decades, they said the CFR doesn't exist. I remember Limbaugh saying that 15 years ago. Now he says they don't have power and makes jokes about it. But he used to say didn't exist. I remember being on talk radio in 96, 97, 98 and getting phone calls. Back then, half the callers would disagree with me on average. And saying, how dare you say there's something called the NSA and Echelon listening to our phones and grabbing data. There's no such thing. And I'd get other calls saying, I work for the government, buddy, and you're not supposed to talk about that. The public thought it was a conspiracy theory that the National Security Agency existed. Then when they admitted it existed by 2000 or so, then we had to have a debate about, no, folks, every major phone company hub has NSA rooms and floors in it, listening to everything you do. Here's the congressional funding for it going back to the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Here's the Telecommunications Act. Here's $9 billion in 1996 to put new hubs in all the facilities. Here's the standardization for cell phone manufacturers under FCC regulations that want to sell phones in the country. They've got to have a back door where they can turn it on and listen to you even when it's off. Here's the Telecommunications Act. I got calls. NSA doesn't exist, and they wouldn't spy on us. Today, does the NSA exist? This is the, Here I am saying there's a world corporate government bankrupting Europe and the U.S. through derivatives. Told you that 13, 14 years ago, exactly what they would do. Top economist gone, George Humphrey and others. Told you everything that was going to unfold, and I'm still here playing childlike games with people. You know, playing along with the childlike game of having to go, there really is a world government. There really is a mega corporate takeover system. And I still get to tune in to talk radio randomly almost every week and hear somebody make fun of me, a host or callers, because I talk about this. I mean, it's disgusting. I'm talking about real things that are happening. Ron Paul is... And instead of us having a debate about do we want a private, corporate, unelected world government that's tyrannical and oppressive and anti-free market, I have to keep having a debate with childlike people about whether it exists or not. Now, this isn't working anymore. That's why the, quote, mainstream media is falling apart and is now known for the liars they are. But still, they think this agenda works. So I'm going to go ahead and play the John Huntsman ad for you. Here it is. <laughs> Ron Paul Chronicles. The assumption is that this guy is like your crazy uncle, but you never expected your crazy uncle to get this far. The problem with him is that he's got some very sound points, but then he's kind of, I don't know, in other areas, scary. All I can say is, you know, people have written about this, and the skull of bones is a secret order of, of Yale, and in the uh, proposition is that people uh, are there groomed for the Trilateral Commission and the CFR, and therefore. They will then be in positions of great influence in our government. Uh, President Bush uh, said that the New World Order was uh, in, 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 in tune, and that's what they were working for. 600,000 Americans died in a senseless civil war. You, you, you buy the slaves and release them. How much would that cost compared to killing 600,000 Americans? If you look at the history, you'll find out that Hamas was encouraged and really started by Israel. Have you ever read about the reasons they attacked us? They, they attack us because we've been over. Over there, we've been bombing Iraq for 10 years. Are you suggesting we invited the 9-11 attack, sir? The Israelis are there. The United States is there. All these countries. China has nuclear weapons. Why wouldn't it be natural that they might want a weapon? There'd be, internationally, they'd be given more respect. Tune in next week for more of the Ron Paul Chronicles with Twilight Zone music. Okay, let's stop right there. 
This is only a small smattering that you're about to see of just what we grabbed yesterday. There are hundreds and hundreds of these. In fact, the best compendium of them is Jason Burmes's seminal film that I produced, available at Infowars.com, Invisible Empire. It's got hundreds and hundreds of clips and the world leaders openly saying that the new world order means global government. The new world order means the state is God. Now, here is a grouping of clips for people out there. I mean, there must be groups that don't think there's a new world order and, doesn't, and don't think that there's a CFR or trilateral commission and really think it's kooky to talk about the political gangsters that have gotten all their people into power and then are running this country into the ground. And, an, and openly announcing a bank of the world that we'll pay our carbon taxes to. So for you, here are world leaders, including George Herbert Walker Bush, Barack Obama, Henry Kissinger, and others, Gordon Brown, Herman Von Rumpy, the head of the European Union, the unelected bureaucrat who runs everything, openly saying new world order, global governance, global government. I mean, what a hoax. These globalists run ads basically saying, we're going to make fun of you. They think you're peer pressure driven, that if they say the sky isn't blue and they tell you, you'll say, yes, sir, boss. Here's those clips. I've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. Partnership and cooperation among nations is not a choice. It is the only way. I think its task will be to develop an overall strategy for America in this period when really a new world order can be created. It's a great opportunity. It isn't just a crisis. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. But it is the awareness itself that will drive the change. And one of the ways it will drive the change is through global governance and global agreements. But the many business leaders who have been present here uh, are among those taking leadership in other ways. Yet these problems can be overcome by a joint effort in our, and between our countries. 2009 is also the first year of global governance with the establishment of the G20 in the middle of the financial crisis. The climate conference in Copenhagen is another step towards the global management of our planet. This is collective action, people working together at their best. I think a new world order is emerging, and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. And then if I All right, that's just a small grouping. Now, I thought I would go and fact check Huntsman's ad some more for you, because it's Harats, Jerusalem Post, UPI, Washington Post, New York Times, hundreds of articles. If you just type in Israel created Hamas, you will get Israeli newspapers by the dozen. But here they are. I'll put some on screen for viewers, for radio listeners. Just look this up. This is the Wall Street Journal, January 24th, 2009. How Israel helped to spawn Hamas. And again, we have another grouping of, of, of a video in there. That's the third clip. We can just show viewers this on screen or I can do a document cam shot. So Ron Paul's bad for saying Israel created and set up Hamas. But, but I mean, there's... Haaretz, H-A-A-R-E-T-Z. Uh, that's um, right there for everybody right there. I mean, they go on and admit that Israel created it. Uh, here's the headline. Israel has only one option when it comes to Iran. And then it goes in the article to Israel creating Hamas. So there it is. But, but you can go further. You can type in Israel created fake Al-Qaeda or Israel staged attacks against themselves, and you'll pull up Jerusalem Post, Haratz. We're supposed to just be stupid, see? Ron Paul's not supposed to be able to read Israeli newspapers or the Wall Street Journal. 
See, our real crime is that we live in the real world. Our crime is that we know how to count to 10. Our crime is we know what's up and what's down. We know what's black and what's white. We know basically how to tie our shoelaces, and you're not supposed to know. You're just supposed to see a guy in a suit, laugh at Ron Paul, and go, he's worried about a global government. Ha ha. Oh, Ron Paul's worried about all these derivatives and the banks imploding us. Ha ha. It's all a planned takeover. And of course, they have to keep ridiculing, just like they ridicule and go, they're crazy people. They think there's an agency called the NSA, and the government's listening to them. <laughs> they're crazy people. Now it's all admitted. Just like we told you there was plans to use the military domestically, now it's the law, and they say they'll secretly disappear you. No more time for games, folks. Folks, have you lost your power and wanted to simply flip a switch to get the lights back on? If so, this is going to be the most important message you'll ever hear. Because there's never been a better time to get ready for the winter power outages ahead. Here's why. Solar power generators are now available from our friends at Solutions from Science, one of our oldest sponsors. Their emergency backup systems provide life-saving electrical power when you need it most. Unlike gas generators, a solar generator runs quietly, emits no fumes, and produces electricity from the sun. It's like having an electric power plant running quietly in your own home. Whether it's ice storms, brownouts, or blackouts, you'll never have to suffer through painful power outages again. When the power goes out this winter, you'll be ready with a solar power generator from Solutions from Science. Go to MySolarBackup.com for more information. That's MySolarBackup.com or call 877-327-0365. Folks, have you lost your power and wanted to simply flip a switch to get the lights back on? If so, this is going to be the most important message you'll ever hear. Because there's never been a better time to get ready for the winter power outages ahead. Here's why. Solar power generators are now available from our friends at Solutions from Science, one of our oldest sponsors. Their emergency backup systems provide life-saving electrical power when you need it most. Unlike gas generators, a solar generator runs quietly, emits no fumes, and produces electricity from the sun. It's like having an electric power plant running quietly in your own home. Whether it's ice storms, brownouts, or blackouts, you'll never have to suffer through painful power outages again. When the power goes out this winter, you'll be ready with a solar power generator from Solutions from Science. Go to MySolarBackup.com for more information. That's MySolarBackup.com or call 877-327-0365. Big Berkey water filters are in high demand. Storable foods are also in high demand. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has always kept our focus on the Berkey water filter products. But increasingly, our customers have been asking for storable foods. After months of research, BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com now offers great-tasting, long-lasting, storable foods. These ready-to-eat meals are packed in airtight nitrogen pouches. All you do is just add water. And because they're sealed so well, they come with a 25-year shelf life. Combined Combine our Berkey water filters, which are powerful enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water with our storable foods, and you have a winning combination. Remember, we offer free shipping on every order over $50, and GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY today. Okay, going back to your phone calls in this segment, the next, then uh, Wayne Paul, brother of Ron Paul, going to be joining us. Look at this article at the Washington Post. I just typed in Ron Paul and hit search, and almost every article of hundreds says, like, don't vote for him. He's a kook. He loves bin Laden. He wants your kids to use heroin. Look at this headline of the Washington Post. Seriously, Iowa? Ron Paul? It's like this trendy, windy a ridicule of these little pack animal lemmings in the dying dinosaur uh, trader media. And they just think if they trendy around and say, you're not allowed to vote for him or you're a kook, everybody will say, okay, you're with the discredited Washington Post. I better do what you say right away. I mean, how long do we let these scum dictate to us? It's so pathetic. It's so ridiculous. We have a criminal class 
that thinks they've taken the country over and has bankrupted us by design and signed us on to their fraudulent debt. It's time to get angry, it's time to never stop, and it's time to expose these people. And it's time to remove our support from them and support true media. We've got 15-day free trials running right now at PrisonPlanet.tv. We're extending the Christmas special a little bit into this month as a New Year special. Get 50, well, you, what is it? It comes up to 5.3 months free when you sign up for a year. So you pay for 6.7 months, you get 4 point. I'm so wound up today, I can hardly even talk. You you pay for 6.7 months, and you get 5.3 months free, prisonplanet.tv. we got a lot of other specials running right now as well. Right now, let's go to Mark. Well, we already talked to Mark, so that was already there. Uh, let's talk to MJ. In, uh, who do I talk to then? Okay, I thought I already talked to a Mark in Illinois earlier. Let's just go to MJ in Illinois. MJ, you're on the air. Go ahead. I just wanted to say that I really do appreciate you because I only listened to you for about two years ago where I came across you accidentally on YouTube. And these other talk show hosts, you, you just hit it on the money. They're just – words can't, ex, can't describe how evil these people are. And I'm just trying to be nice since I'm, I'm, on, I'm, I'm doing a case to speak. I'm on air. But the thing I had about Ron Paul is – what they're doing to him is criminal. And we, the Americans... Well, yeah, this is a criminal group that took America over. They really are criminals. That They're getting ready to start devaluing the currency and grabbing everybody's bank accounts. They're a bunch of scum. America doesn't exist anymore. It's been taken over by mega banks. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, that's okay. And then also, you know, prime example, you have these neocons saying that they're up for the Constitution, they're for America, they're for our rights. And I don't know if you really talked about it too much, like with Rick Perry starting that lawsuit in Virginia because he didn't make the requirement to 10,000 signatures because he couldn't be on the ballot. Yeah, none of the candidates in Virginia and other states could get on there but Romney and Paul. They're the only major contenders, and I've been saying that for four months looking at the polls. The only two people that could seriously run against Obama are Mitt Romney and, and Ron Paul with the money the name, everything, and then with Romney, he's an Obama clone, so it doesn't matter. The only person's Ron Paul. It's very simple. Exactly. And the people, it's right in front of our faces. If we don't wake up, we are, we, we are not going to have anything left. Let me ask you a question, um, because it's important. What do you think of Huntsman trying to claim there's no new world order when it's in front of everybody? Um, it's just another example of the globalists showing their arrogance, thinking that we're stupid. And we, and we are, there are people that are waking up. We just need more people waking up. And I hope particularly today in Iowa that the, the people in that state realize what they're doing and still vote their gut. And, you know, we know that Ron Paul is leading these polls to make sure they get out there and vote the way that they feel and stop being sheep on listening to everything what other people say. Exactly. MJ, I appreciate your call. Yeah, doing what the dominant media says is trendy has destroyed this country. We have foreign criminal interest running a giant psyop against us. They're the enemy. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Cal Bend Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network.
Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Welcome back to the syndicated radio transmission. I'm Alex Jones, your host. We also simulcast the radio in living color with a five-camera shoot at PrisonPlanet.tv. And last hour, I was playing clips of Henry Kissinger, Obama, Bush Sr. calling for world government, new world order. And I just look at how arrogant they are. They're just con men who practice talking real smooth and real slow to sound reasonable when they're doing horrible things. And they've taken the wealthiest nation in the world and made it the greatest debtor nation. They've taken a nation known for liberty and freedom and turned it into one known for evil. And, then, and now they're trying to give us more of the same as the solution. And just a decent American who's a constitutionalist is being called crazy and kooky. Well, th then they're saying George Washington is crazy and kooky because Ron Paul follows the Constitution, not to a fault, but some would say to a fault, to an obsessive compulsive level. Now, if you don't like Ron Paul, then you don't like what America is. The people demonizing Ron Paul and myself are lecherous, un-American vipers who want the destruction of our republic and who are signed on to the new world order, period. Let's go back to your phone calls here. Uh, and I'm sorry, well, uh, there was another Mark from Illinois, so I got confused and thought that was the same Mark. But let's go back to Mark in Illinois, then Rick and others. Mark, thanks for holding. Welcome. How you doing, Alex? Good. Wanda, I have a couple questions for you. One, for the um, police, they need to watch the movie, the second movie, Lethal Weapon. It tells in there about how uh, they have diplomatic immunity against us and how they use it against our military. No, no, the globalists have diplomatic immunity and get caught running white slaves. I mean, sex slaves, folks. Uh, drugs all the time. That's exactly how the New World Order, the UN, and all these mega groups, they all declare immunity. It's a joke. That's what I, it's a con game. It is a con game. You got it. You nailed it right on the nose of Ron Paul all the way. I'm for him. I was so happy to hear on CBS this morning. They have to say that the Newt Gingrich called him a liar. <laughs> Not Ron Paul, but called uh, uh, Romney a liar. Right straight in front of everybody, man. I mean, everyone had a hard time getting themselves uh, composure together. You're supposed to, but look, look, he's a liar, too. I mean, I heard Gingrich whining about negative ads. Gingrich has been running negative ads. He's a New World Order just leader right with him. You know what? They need to take a New World Order, and we need to start a New World action against them. Take it right to them. Well, again, the devil's greatest trick was telling the world he didn't exist, and that's the mind game. We can never get rid of this because they have this weird unified front of none of it exists when it exists. I mean, that shows, I appreciate your call. The biggest example of fraud I know of is that every year before school starts, they announce everywhere, it's the law to take vaccines. There is no law. It's a giant criminal hoax. And then you hear the vaccine ads on the very same TV and radio stations. Now, the average radio station person is so weak-minded, they actually think it's the law, too. Again, it, it's just giant hoaxes. Let's talk to Rick in Florida. Rick, thank you. Welcome. Uh, Alex? Yes, sir. Are you there? Yes. Okay. Uh, Five-year listener, uh, I'm calling because I need your help. I'm, I'm in the process of declaring myself a free man on the land, all right? And I want to opt out of the Social Security system. Because it's that number, if you accept that number to your name, that's what ties you legally to the rest of their Yes, debt. yes, that's all true, but the system is so criminal now, they say they don't even follow their own rules, just like they've gotten rid of due process and say they'll secretly arrest you and blow your head off. They are lawless criminals. So just know that just because you say I'm a sovereign, you pull out of it. Unless you're an illegal alien, they won't leave you alone. Illegals are above the law because they're here to drive down wages and a key part of the new world order. But unless you're going to change, you know, change your name and claim you're an illegal alien, you're not going to achieve true sovereign. Only illegal aliens, government criminals, and the Queen of England are sovereign. 
hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Did you ever think you'd be where you are a decade into the 21st century? Record foreclosure rates for homes, if not yours, your neighbors. Thankful for the unemployment check since you were laid off and placing your child's name on the angel tree in hopes of a Christmas gift along with thousands of other Americans. Did you ever think your future would feel this out of control? The fact is, in all this craziness, there's only one thing you can control. Your greatest dependency, your food supply. Make 2012 the year you take control by getting prepared. eFoods Direct introduces the best way to build your food supply in the 21st century. Get a 21-day supply of food free with purchase. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Take back control in 2012. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Remember, you can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, we've got another great patriot and another fellow Texan. Wayne Paul joining us for the rest of the hour. He's, of course, one of uh, Ron Paul's brothers. And for many decades, he's been exposing the Federal Reserve, battling the IRS in court. He's a CPA. Uh, he is just a chip off the same block that Ron Paul came from, off the same tree. And uh, I wanted to get him on today to talk a little bit about his brother and who his brother really is. I mean, I happen to know the inside baseball on Ron Paul, who would basically volunteer for free to work at charity hospitals because you know, he believes in the free market. And in the free market, you're supposed to have people that dedicate their own time willingly to help those that are in need. That's what the Bible teaches. I happen to know that Ron Paul routinely would pay the bills of his poor patients. That's now coming out, not from his campaign, but from others. And that Ron Paul would volunteer in the minority um, you know, black uh, areas mainly and, and give them free health care. But Ron Paul is the type of person uh, who, well, a hero. He he won't talk about himself. He he won't allow it because it he it's it's painful for people like him to hear it because he knows he's doing his duty. But I know his brother. If we twist his arm, might talk about him. And you know, I've never asked you guys about your parents. What great people um, they must have been to produce such a great family of uh, liberty lovers across across the board. And now grandchildren I know are involved. Uh, in, in the fight against the uh, globalist, and we sure are proud to have you here with us in Texas. But 
Uh, Wayne, out of the gates, it, it, I was saying to you during the break, I said, Wayne, what do you want to talk about first? And he said, I'd like to mention a website where they're going to have people at all the caucuses themselves taking a photo of the tally board. That's why Ron's going to probably win Iowa is because it's the old fashioned vote with your hands at the precinct. It's tallied, put on a board. And so the Republicans have announced they're going to run into secret to protect it from anonymous hackers who've been protesting Ron Paul, obviously working for them, the, the Republican establishment, who's, who've openly said they want to sabotage Paul. And if he wins, just ignore him. And so they're saying to protect it, it's a secret location. But we can stop them from doing that. And, and we're going to have uh, the website up on screen here when Dew comes in in about 20 minutes for a quick report. Because Dew's getting a piece together for this tonight on the Nightly News as well, but we got to get this going now, uh, where they take a photo of it and then they have a public tabulation of that so that we can checkmate the fraudsters. And we also have articles at prisonplanet.com. Republican insider, the Fox analyst, GOP establishment planning to subvert Iowa to prevent Ron Paul win. We've got that audio clip uh, coming up uh, later as well. But it was funny because that was what I was going to raise to Wayne first, but he brought it up to me. So, Wayne, what is first on your radar s screen here today, my friend? Well, I think the biggest thing is how, how do we know we're going to have an honest tabulation? And there's those throughout the country have been thinking about this for a long time, and there's three or four guys on the East Coast that have set up a website called transparentvote.net and they put out a letter to all the candidates in Iowa saying if you've got people in a precinct when the precinct count is finished and sign off on before they whisk it away ask them to put it up and you take a camera picture of it with your iPhone and then upload it to transparentvote.net, and they'll run a concurrent tabulation that you can watch. And, of course, that's what the Republican Party should do to maintain the Absolutely. safety of it. But, but notice the anonymous group, which is just a government cutout, has now gone and protested at... Ron Paul's Iowa offices, they're, they're talking horrible trash about him everywhere for two weeks. And they're the group threatening to disrupt the caucus, uh, which now demonizes anybody who ever runs under the name Anonymous, and then allows the Republican establishment to run and secretly tabulate the vote. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on with these stinkers. Sure. Did, did you hear what the governor of Iowa stated? Uh, yes, but I know you've got the quote. Give it to folks. Well, he turned around and was on national television and said, if Ron Paul wins the Ohio, uh, Iowa caucuses, you have to discount it because it wouldn't mean anything. It's amazing. Um, I want to get into what it's like for the family and what it's like, you know, Ron Paul's brother, to see them twist things and tell the lies about him and also see just a pack of mangy jackals that is the dinosaur prostitute media savaging your brother but also savaging his supporters and, 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 and the governor saying ignore the vote if he wins, which is saying ignore the voters. I mean, they're really showing their arrogance. And I think that's true. I think the amazing thing, Alex, is uh, people are afraid of truth and honesty. And, and it's the people that control things that are the most afraid. They can't handle the truth. The thing I'm most amazed about is my brother's capability of remaining positive and looking at the goal and not being deflected by all the other uh, statements that are made that are negative to him. His goal is freedom, liberty, and privacy for everybody. That's what he wants. And uh, I really think, Alex, we live in exciting times coming up. And starting today, for the next six months, because economically things are going to get worse and more and more people are going to say we want to change 
and the snowballs starting to roll down the hill, and and the powers to be don't like it, and they don't know what to do about it. It was Julius Caesar that said there is a tide in the affairs of men when taking up the flood leads on to fortune. The fortune we seek is liberty and freedom in our time and for future generations and to not live under a collectivist yoke of communitarianism. And imagine your brother, really for 40 years, but prominently for three decades, traveling the country, writing books, in and out of Congress, battling for basic Americana liberty. Uh, I mean, and really nothing special, just basic common sense constitution. And now here he is, right as everything he warned of, and you and I and many others and G. Edward Griffin warned of, right as it's all happening, just as we have said, there is Ron Paul. I mean, that's God giving us a chance. You know, God, if you study the Bible, Wayne, as you know, always gives people a way out, a chance. And I'm, I'm saying this is our chance. Well, you're right, and it, and it, but, but 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 Wayne, we cannot lose. Even if they steal the election down the road, by Ron running and by everybody supporting him, this is the greatest awakening and people learning about the Federal Reserve and the New World Order we've ever seen, Wayne. That's absolutely right. That's why I tell my friends and neighbors we live in the most exciting times of our life because we've never had an opportunity like this in my lifetime, and I'm 70 years old, and I think it's, it's exciting, I think it's definitive, and I think it is going to be something that's going to surprise everybody because the time is now. It certainly is. I don't know if you've seen this, but it's on Infowars.com, uh, but Huntsman, who's worked for Obama as a total one-worlder, He's running an ad playing clips of your brother talking about George Herbert Walker Bush calling for a new world order. I mean, those are all public clips. How is your brother bad for admitting that world leaders want a world government and that we shouldn't be part of that? I mean, how is saying the sky is blue bad? I, I totally understand what you're saying. I just admire uh, my brother for being able to stay positive through all, all the that's going on yeah he's done that let's uh, for folks that you know obviously aren't ron paul's brother uh, you know you guys have a large family growing up how would you you know characterize him in the family and then you know throughout his life what type of person is ron paul and um what do you make of all of these uh, you know taking out of tens of thousands of newsletters uh taking you know 10 lines or something and conflating them with other things uh and then attacking uh, uh, your brother as a little bit of background, there are five boys in our family. Ron is the middle of five boys. My mother and father ran a processing dairy business in the basement of our house, which was a four-room house. And they did that up until I believe I was in fifth or sixth grade before they moved the processing business from the basement of a house to a separate building, and we were always taught, you know, my, my mother and father had to work seven days a week, and when we were old enough to wear some boots and could wash some cans that were in the basement, we put the boots on and went to work, and that's just the way we were taught and raised, but every Sunday morning, regardless of the fact we had to work, we took time off and went to Sunday school and church. The five of us had a paper route, starting with my oldest brother down to me. When I gave up the route, we had close to 300 customers we delivered paper to every day, and they had to divide it up into three paper routes after we gave it up because nobody would take it. <laughs> All right. I mean, tell us more. Tell us about your parents. Well, uh... Mom and Dad were always hard workers. Uh, they were always well grounded in their faith, and they didn't ever try to beat anything into us. They just expected us to turn around and go to Sunday school and church, and it was just a way of life for us. And 
uh, there was never a problem. The only problem my mom and dad had is when we were sitting in church on Sunday morning, they couldn't divide themselves among five boys. So there were all these two sitting together. And, of course, any two sitting together agitated each other. So they always had a problem that keep us calm for the, ser- for the uh, service that lasted maybe 45 minutes or an hour. But other than that, we were perfect children, you know. <laughs> now, uh, how would you describe Ron Paul? I mean, at his core, what drives your brother? Well, it, even when Ron was in high school, before he had a driver's license, he worked at, in a drugstore uh, making sodas and sundaes. And then at 9 or 10 o'clock at night or Friday and Saturday night, he'd get on his bicycle and it'd take him, it's about a mile from the house, and he would bicycle home. We all worked in the dairy on a daily basis. Once we got licenses, we drove milk trucks every day. We all five of us put our way through college. When Ron went to college, he went to Gettysburg College in Pennsylvania. When he was a sophomore, I believe, and uh, I could be wrong on the exact date, but I think he was married roughly in his sophomore year. When he graduated from Gettysburg College, I believe he had maybe one or two children, and he went to uh, to uh, South Carolina to graduate school. And after that, he went to the Air Force for five years. Then he went back to get another degree in uh, Michigan. Then he came back to Pennsylvania and got his doctor uh, doctor's uh, certificate as uh, obstetric and gynecology doctor. And then he went into practice. So he always worked. He he always. Uh, of course, we always try to kid him a little bit to keep him humble. We always say he was the spoiled one of the five of us. And as long as there's four of us around, we win the battle. <laughs> now, uh, what about, uh, you know, their false claims of uh, racism and things like that? I mean, because from people I know that you know, know your brother well, and of course what's coming out in the media, I mean, he would volunteer quite a bit always at the charity hospitals to help people. Not only that, but he never took Medicare. If a patient come in to his office, he took care of them. If they didn't have the money, they made an agreement as to how they were going to get paid, and he he took care of them. But he never took Medicare any time while he was being a doctor. That's right. Never took it, and in many cases would just give people free health care is what ended up happening. Yeah. I mean, so, so, so this is, and particularly for my, quote, minorities, I, I mean, most doctors would just turn you away right there. But, but there's your brother, hardworking, living by example of his parents, you know, all the things he's done, truly understands the issues, and that's why the system's so scared of him, because they know he can't be bought and there's no skeletons in his closet. Right, and they're trying to make up the skeletons as they go, so they go back 20 years to pick up uh, one article in one newspaper about eight or ten lines long, and they're trying to hang their hat on that. But the problem they have with that statement is his life does not depict what they're trying to make it be. So the life, the honesty, the integrity... uh, Truth prevails, and, and what he is is what he is, and that's the problem they have. Well, you're right, but it, it does show the awakening is huge, that despite the the lying Decepticon media telling everybody that Ron Paul can't win, he now is the front runner, and they are in full panic mode. Uh, what are some of the dirty tricks you're expecting them to pull, Wayne? Well, I'm concerned. Uh, not about the caucus meetings tonight in Iowa, because I believe the people in the in the individual precincts and caucus meetings are the grassroots, serious-minded individuals, and that that means it doesn't matter who they support, any one of the candidates. 
they're normally very dedicated, hardworking people that are going to work for the person they believe that is right. I believe those precinct numbers will be honest, sincere in every way, shape, or form. My concern would be what happens when they go to a secret place and tally the votes. That is not transparency, and they can use whatever excuse they want that they want to prevent disruption. If they want to prevent disruption, go to downtown Des Moines, uh, sit in the public square, and have each precinct captain bring in the vote. And you think it's going to be disrupted? It's not going to be. But they don't want to make it transparent, and that's the biggest thing that frightens me. Well, I agree with you, and undoubtedly there's going to be election fraud. There was four years ago, but if there's a big enough, uh, in places like New Hampshire, there's a big enough landslide, they have trouble spinning it and cooking it. We're going to have the top election uh, fraud investigator, former federal uh, fraud investigator, Bev Harris, on the radio show and the TV show tomorrow in the aftermath uh, to break all this down and to track it uh, into the next uh, primaries and caucuses that are coming up. But I want to state this again. You, you only lose not supporting Ron Paul. You only lose not hitting the street and getting very aggressive with the message of liberty. Because even if they engage in all this fraud and stuff, we win by injecting real issues. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I see a almost another 50 or 60 percent more knowledgeable people today as it deals with the issues than it was four years ago. You just people said it. You just said they it. They read more. They know more. And they have come to the point where they're not going to put up with the baloney that, that the mainstream puts out. It's just not going to do it. Well, it's like your brother Ron Paul said two nights ago. In fact, I meant to pull this clip up when he was on uh, Fox TV on the weekend, and, and the host you know, was saying, well, do you think you'll slip in Iowa as uh, Santorum and people surge? And uh, your brother Ron Paul said, no. Once people convert to liberty and put together all the pieces of it, and understand how things work, there's no going back. Right. Uh, and, I mean, that's the issue. Ron Paul's not filling people through with his ideology. He's getting people to rediscover history, rediscover common sense, rediscover what made America great versus the horrible stuff we're being sold by the establishment. It's the establishment that's got something to hide. It's the establishment that's discredited and kooky, not Ron Paul. And every month we exponentially grow, and that's why the system's scared. Yep, yep. They, do, they, as I said initially on this program, they can't handle the truth. And I have to believe, as a God-fearing Christian, that truth is going to prevail. And economically, we still are going to have to take on the $16 trillion that we found out about. That's going to come up in the next six to nine months, and the truth is going to prevail. And, and by the way, it's not just the 16 plus trillion given to foreign banks via the Federal Reserve of our tax money, and, and, and Bernanke and others lying to Congress about it. Now we're learning there's trillions more going out. I mean, this is a big deal. The crooks running things are stealing trillions and telling us it's our debt. And, and Alex, one of the other things that concerns me as a brother to Ron is that I have studied enough history in the last 40 years to understand the tight wire that he is walking in terms of what the establishment is willing to put up with. They've been able to control and stick him in a hole somewhere and not have to deal with him. But those times are changing now, so each day as it changes, I am in greater fear of his life for he and his family. No, no, you're right, but he's committed to it oh, as, yeah. as a champion. But no, let's elaborate on this after the break. This is the next point I wanted to raise. Um, we're right on the same page together.
We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions Yet many are unaware of the entire function of the Silver Lung System and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lung System produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, it also comes equipped with the proper applicators and devices needed to deliver your silver solutions directly to key target areas. This includes the eyes, ears, nose, lungs, topically to the skin, and orally for the digestive system. Be sure to watch our new 7-minute video tour of the Silver Lung System at www.silverlungs.com to learn more about how the Silver Lung System works. As well, we are always ready to answer any questions you may have. That's www.silverlungs.com. Did you ever think you'd be where you are a decade into the 21st century? Record foreclosure rates for homes, if not yours, your neighbors. Thankful for the unemployment check since you were laid off and placing your child's name on the angel tree in hopes of a Christmas gift along with thousands of other Americans. Did you ever think your future would feel this out of control? The fact is, in all this craziness, there's only one thing you can control. Your greatest dependency, your food supply. Make 2012 the year you take control by getting prepared. eFoods Direct introduces the best way to build your food supply in the 21st century. Get a 21-day supply of food free with purchase. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Take back control in 2012. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Remember, you can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Brother of Ron Paul, great anti-Federal Reserve, pro-America activist for decades. In fact, that's one question I want to ask him and then go to a few calls is specifically, you know, what got Wayne and Ron involved in all this? We'll talk to him just in a moment and also talk about Ron Paul's uh, safety. But first off, A Noble Lie, Oklahoma City, 1995. It's a DVD film that I'm in, but there's many of the survivors of Oklahoma City are in. Uh, and also the mother of a police officer who was murdered because he was going to expose what really happened. This was done to blame the state's rights movement, movement of real Americans, to blame us for this attack. This film is like cyanide to tyrants. Get it at Infowars.com and get it out to everyone you know. We also are still running the Everything Special because it's so popular. All 18 of my films on DVD for 70 plus percent off, $99.95 versus $360. And it is your support 
of this broadcast and the news websites and the nightly news and everything that makes this possible. And it is your continuing support uh, that helps uh, us expand in the future. So, again, I want to thank all of you out there for your support of Infowars.com with your uh, visits to the online video uh, bookstore, uh, your PrisonPlanet.tv memberships. You are at the tip of the spear right beside us, not behind us in this fight. It's also very important to support our local AM and FM affiliates and to become sponsors of those local stations of your local business, but also to support those businesses that are sponsors. That's why we're getting on so many new AM and FM stations uh, here in the United States, not just XM. And we're number one podcast and audio streams on the web, according to um, a bunch of different actuaries and gauges like Google Analytics, um, StatBrain, uh, Alexa, uh, and, of course, Shoutcast and many others. Now, going back to brother of Ron Paul, Wayne Paul, you got cut off by the break. Start over. You're saying that at, you know, before they could ignore your brother, but as he you know, really becomes a major focal point, not just here but worldwide for liberty, you're worried about his uh, safety. Please elaborate to, on that, Wayne Paul. Well, I, I look back in history, and I could probably name you in my lifetime, five or six people who are no longer alive that at one time or another espoused many of or some of Ron's ideas and philosophy. And they got to a point that that agitated certain powers to be. But now they have an individual that puts them all together in a very nice, common-sense, human-being package. And as I said at the beginning, they can't handle that. And the more they can't handle that, the more I fear for the safety of my brother, whether it be by because of a, an airplane malfunction or a sniper bullet, or I don't care what you want to call it, I personally, as a God-fearing person, I fear and pray for his and his family's life on a daily basis. And the more he wins, the tougher it's going to be. But I can guarantee you he's still going to be out there on the podium preaching what he believes to right as far as uh, uh, liberty is concerned. Well, here, here to that, Wayne Paul, uh, who, who got started waking up to this whole New World Order collectivist uh, slave system? Was it uh, you? Was it another brother? Was it Ron? Uh, give us that uh, lore. Well, I think while Ron was waiting for babies to be born, he began to read Austrian economic book. And so he went all, all the way back to through Ludwig von Mises and Hayek and all those people that believe in the Austrian economic theory, which is free enterprise, private property, and liberty to do what you want. He learned and understood this issue. And the more he read, the more he understood it, and the more he realized that our government 40 years ago was not heading in the proper direction from an economic point of view, and from a liberty point of view of the individual citizens of the United States. And that's when he decided that he felt he was called to turn around and try and educate the people to have a better understanding of economics, a better understanding of liberty, and a better understanding of the Constitution. So was he the first person to, I mean, obviously the family was you know, very constitutional, already awake, but was he the first person to really wake up? I, I think he was in our family. I got involved in it from a tax point of view, and I started to read the Constitution from that point of view and from understanding the tax law. And I don't want to go into it now. Well, give I, us the skinny on it. Well, I can go into I go can go into the fact that I can show you in chapter and verse who is required to file a tax return. But if you don't file a tax return, you go to jail. But what happens if you're not required to file? You're considered a tax protest. And there's court cases all over the country 
And there's people in prison who know and understand the law and how it operates. And where are they? They're buried in a jail somewhere, and there's, you know, there's 50 or 60 of these people you can talk about any day of the week. But they understand the law. They understand the Constitution. And a chapter and verse can show you who's required to pay a tax return. Well, I love it whenever they attack your brother on TV and they go, how will we fund the government without the uh, income tax? And a lot of times he's standing with the capital in the background. He goes, we built that without it. It is there to pay the interest to the bankers for the right to have currency. We never right. had it till 1913. And, okay, and, so let me tell you a little bit of history. From 1835 till 1913, we had no central bank. If you look at economic history during that 75 years, we had more real wealth growth per capita for every person in the United States than ever conceived of by man. That's right. It was over 10% a year. Absolutely. And what happened? In November of December of 1913, the Federal Reserve Act was passed by three people on the floor of the House. And 20 years later, in 33, we turn around and Roosevelt declares the United States bankrupt. Yep. And put us into receivership of the very same mega banks today who aren't trying to fix a crisis. They created it. They're just shearing us again. Absolutely. Absolutely. But... Uh, to say that we can't run a government if we don't have a tax, I, I would like to see some of the candidates who, who espouse to be historian tell me and read me the story about 1835 to 1930 and the real wealth growth of this nation and try to tell me it can't be done. Now, when you talk to your brother, I mean, I mean, he was here a few weeks ago, and I gave him some of my advice, and he's a very humble person. But he'll tell you if he agrees with me. He said, no, that is good advice. I said, go up against Obama. I wouldn't even worry about attacking these other minions down. He agreed that that should be their next strategy. That's actually what Romney and some others have done effectively. But the problem is it's only rhetoric with them. It's not real like it is with your brother. Right. Your brother says something, you could take it to the bank. Globalists say something, it's guaranteed to be a lie, even if the truth would serve them. But if you could, I mean, just watching this you know, from afar, if you could give the campaign advice or ideas, what would it be? Well, I, I, I only disagree with some of the snippets that I get to see on television because I don't get to see the full context of what was said. But there, there are times when uh, we talk about, for instance, taxes. I think it's important to note that for 75 years, we didn't have any taxes. And we ran a government that was very efficient, ran it according to the Constitution, and import, export, and excise taxes funded every government requirement we needed for those 75 years. Well, that's what China does. Right. Exactly right. So it, and, I, and I recognize the fact that when you're standing up in front of an audience, how he is able to maintain the control and keep the positive attitude and try to answer all the questions is beyond me. I, uh, he's got a power that I don't have. Well, I'm sure as for being a doctor and all those life and death crises, it just gets to where you get where you can really control yourself. Well, you know, if he's sitting over um, a patient and he's got to make a medical decision, uh, he turns around and makes the decision and lives with it, and 99.9% .9 of the time it's always been right. Yeah, he's from the real world, yep. and he's up there with a bunch of insider trading crooks who are just completely arrogant and crazy. I want to ask you about the NDAA coming up, but I want to bring Rob Dew in, one of our investigative reporters and the director of the Nightly News here, because he was raising you know, the same point of groups that are trying to get photos at the precincts of what the hand-raised tallies were. You know, it should be posted anyways, yep. and so it can all be collated. So we're going to definitely follow and track this, but then he's got some other breaking news. Rob, give us a report on that. Basically, uh, about 2 a.m. last night, I got up. I couldn't sleep. Um, I went online and I, I started seeing a bunch of the stuff about Ron Paul and the election rigging. 
And I watched that video that we're going to show later with this uh, Fox News tart, D.D. Binky, talking about how nobody in the Republican Party wants Ron Paul to win. They're trying to figure out how to split the vote between Romney and Santorum, but they don't want to split it too much because then Ron Paul might win. And she called his supporters Paul Bots, which I think is funny coming from Fox News, considering hey. they love to regurgitate talking points over and over again and get people to robotically talk about them. And then it led me onto this uh, website called TransparentVote.net. And, um, and that's the one you're talking about, right, Wayne? That is correct. Yeah, and I mean, this has got a great plan, and it's it's people listening there in Iowa. Well, all we need is 1,784 people to go to each precinct, one, one person at each precinct. And don't worry about people doing it over and over again. That's exactly. okay. Yeah. Don't wait for orders from headquarters. Just go, right. do, it. Just go do it. And get the picture. Because if we even get it. part of them, we can add it together and show fraud of us going on. Sure, they did it in 2008. They didn't, they only had. And again, hundreds. that's why we do this, even if they try to rig it, because by engaging them, we show their fraud. Exactly. This is how you defeat an enemy, is engaging them. Because and, and one of the things you, the, the person in the precinct has to realize is one of the precinct count and the sheet is signed off on it. It becomes public, and that precinct chairman has the responsibility that if I ask to see it, he's got to show it to me. That's key. They've exactly. got to show it. So everybody Absolutely. get out there and do it. Uh, I mean, how obvious is it they're sending an anonymous and the only group they protest is Ron Paul. And then now the Republicans use that to make it secret. I mean, this is, right. oh, we got to take your rights because Al-Qaeda. I mean, it's the oldest trick in the book. Well, what's going to happen is these precinct chairmen, they've been told to call in their results into this secret location where all the votes are going to be tallied. So we're never going to know what the real results are unless people get out there and do this. Yeah, this is how the desperate the, I mean, they'll lie about WMDs, folks. They'll uh, state the Gulf of Tonkin. They'll do this. You're the enemy. The criminals that run this country are hijackers. They hate America. I mean, it's really just that simple. Now, let's get to uh, D.D. here, uh, this, this Fox News correspondent, this Fox News, I guess, analyst. Uh, she goes on there. We have the article at Infowars.com. Republican insider, GOP establishment planning to subvert Iowa to prevent Ron Paul win. I want to play some of these clips and get... Uh, uh, Wayne Paul, brother of Ron Paul's, take on this. Uh, let's go ahead and go to this uh, first clip. Here she is on a local radio show uh, in Iowa breaking this down. About Ron Paul showing very well in the caucuses here because there's concern, frankly, that um, Iowa will, will caucus itself into uh, 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 oblivion and and the party will say listen if Ron Paul is what Iowa picks for us or, or gives Ron Paul this kind of prominence maybe Iowa shouldn't be first in the nation for our party next time around and we know that the Iowa caucuses are important to this state and to the economy is it possible that the party apparatus here could be silently asking the, those district chairmen to start swaying uh, some important oh. caucus members over to the anti-Paul uh, uh, side, which may end up being Santorum uh, being the beneficiary of that. Is that and again, we're just speculating. Oh, yeah, so. a scenario like that happening. No, I'm not, I'm not speculating. I've talked to the party officials. I know they're concerned about it <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> they, that takes away their significance. In Iowa, you know, they want to keep number one in the nation. And then if you, you know, nominate someone who doesn't have a snowball's chance, that's not good for them. And they know that. So now they're like, all right, you know what? I think she let's means to, right You know there. what? Let's get to the real issue here. You know, our relevance is important. The country's relevance is important. Ron Paul doesn't do us any good in Iowa. Doesn't do the country any good. We'll never get there. So let's figure out what we need to do. So, yeah, those conversations I know for a fact are going on. So, yeah, you are very right and, very right and astute to uh, realize that. Where do, you, where, do, where do you think, from a practical point of view, all right, now, now, again, we have up on screen the quote there, Ron Paul won't be allowed to win. Uh, that That's coming up. But, I mean, here is this arrogance that this isn't good for the country, so we're going to decide. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, this, this is crazy. Now, what's the next clip here? Well, she talked during this whole interview, you can go listen to it. She talks about, and, and big props to We Are Change uh, Wichita, who found this and sent it to us last night and at about 1.30. But uh, anyway... She talks about how the, the chairman are going to sway voters to go to a certain candidate that they think needs to be. And it's definitely not going to be Ron Paul. But right there, you hear the spin where he's saying, oh, the, this will discredit Iowa. They may lose the caucus. Oh, yeah. That's what the governor says. Exactly. So they're saying if you vote, you lose your right to be first. I mean, again, they, it's all about peer pressure. It's all about trendiness. We're going to come back and play some more clips of this and hopefully keep Wayne till about five after. I know he's got to go and get back to work. But, Wayne, what's your take on what you just heard? There's more coming up. Well, 
uh, all I can tell you is I believe it. <laughs> you know, they're going to do anything they can. You're right. Are we ready with the next clip? Uh, here's the next part. Uh, here's more of her giggling and snickering because Ron Paul's not good for America. They're going to make sure he doesn't win. Uh, here it is. You know what, Steve? I just think it's a huge struggle right now because I've talked to both. Both types are like, you know, we think Romney, you know, we went Iowa to pick the winner and we think Romney would be the winner. But it's like, oh, but Santorum's worked so hard and he came to my church and he came to my diner and I really like him and we think he represents Iowa. So there's a real split there. So they're, you know, they're concerned about the Ron Paul thing because if they split that, Ron Paul could be number one and they really, really don't want Ron Paul to win. Isn't that interesting? We've got one more clip of this coming up. In fact, let's go ahead and go to that clip as we go to break here. Yeah, okay, we're going to come back from break then and uh, get to the rest of that. But uh, more comments on this, Wayne. Well, uh, it, it concerns me. I understand where they're coming from, but that snowball's rolling down the hill, and they're not going to be able to stop it. They're going to try. They'll attempt to do anything that they can. But uh, I have to believe that this is under somebody else's control and they're not going to be able to stop it. Yeah, they're running around like chickens with their heads cut off. We'll be back. Does being over 40 make you feel like half the man you used to be? Do you feel tired, out of shape? Is your romantic life suffering? It's not your fault. You may have reduced testosterone, but now, for the first time ever, you can boost testosterone levels safely and naturally to feel more like you did 20 years ago. Introducing Ageless Male, a breakthrough supplement clinically proven to increase testosterone levels by 61% and within a healthy, normal range. Today, you can try it risk-free. So if you'd like to experience what healthy testosterone levels can feel like, more energy, better mood and focus, and more romance when you want it, you really need to give Ageless Male a try. Supplies for this risk-free offer are limited, so don't wait. Just call 1-800-497-8345. 8345 1-800-497-8345. 1-800-497-8345. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the Door Sentinel at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com right now and watch the amazing video. At MySafeDoor.com, you'll learn how to turn your home into a fortress with the Door Sentinel. 16 kicks later, and the Door Sentinel is still holding strong. MySafeDoor.com. That's MySafeDoor.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. That's what it sounds like when a burglar kicks in the door of a dark house that looks like no one is home. Don't let your home be the next target. Make it look like someone is home watching television with Fake TV. Fake TV is a small electronic device that makes the same light as a real television. So from outside, it looks like someone is home watching TV. Fake TV plugs in just like a lamp on a timer, but is far more convincing to burglars. Fake TV deters burglars, costs far less than an alarm, and is highly recommended by numerous police departments. Use it anytime you're away from home. To order your Fake TV for only $34.95, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. Each additional Fake TV is only $29.95, so get one for you and one for a loved one for safety, security, and peace of mind for both of you. Call 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. FakeTV.com, the burglar deterrent. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. One thing that stops uh, corruption and cronyism and insider manipulation dead in its tracks is sunshine. Everybody needs to get this article at Infowars.com out to everyone you know. Republican insider GOP establishment planning to subvert Iowa to prevent Ron Paul win. And there, 
she, she thinks this is just normal to say the campaign, you know, the local chairman, the local Republican bigwigs are going to have to sway things for our state or for Iowa or, or it'll be discredited. This idea that, you know, if you vote for Ron Paul, it discredits the state. So we're doing this for your own good. It just they're out of touch. Their arrogance, their their insane arrogance that, that she would say this on a radio program and the hosts are getting off on it. They're all enjoying it, feeling like they're playing along with the script and part of the system. Most people that serve the New World Order are not even part of it. They just regurgitate because they know they go up the ladder if they do. Yeah. But now they see the system being shut down. You're going to be thrown off that ladder. Yeah, okay. It's good that this is coming out because it really shows these people's true colors, that they don't have honest intentions for a fair Election. They well, it's more than that. Them. They're right there saying, we're the elitists, yeah. we know best, and we're going to pressure people to do this, and we're going to make sure. They say it publicly because they've been operating in the open with nobody opposing them for so long. Here comes Ron Paul and says, uh, here's the Constitution, and they act like vampires at high noon. Ah! ah he's, a, he's a normal person. He's not like us. He's bad. No, you're bad. Let's go to the rest of the clip and get Wayne Paul's take on this. Uh, here's the rest of it. A lot of those Ron Paul people coming in because, well, you know, they'll, they'll be coming from school. And they're going to be and, weird, uh, right? it's, I don't know. I kind of think they're going to be able to keep them from, from uh, getting the number one spot because they are concerned and they get that. And they, you know, they had so much uh, change with the schedule with, you know, Florida just making everything crazy, you know. And, and so Iowa knows that, you know, they're kind of on the chopping block here. They could be. Oh. So that's very important to them. So I'm sure that there are a lot of discussions and trying to figure out, you know, where the votes are going to go. And I will say this, and I'm positive that the party apparatus is very tightly knit like it is in Indiana. It's very similar. Oh. So they're trying to figure it out right now. I mean, between Romney and uh, Santorum and how they... Uh, deal with the Paul bots and uh, you know they're Paul not going to want him to get number one it's very bad for Iowa it's terrible for Iowa wow. now, if he wins the biggest loser yeah. is absolutely Iowa so I hope for my friend that the Iowa GOP I hope that doesn't happen yeah I just want to make sure yeah. This is devastating, and I should have led with this today. I saw it and never even co – I'm glad you came up and said, Alex, why aren't you covering this? And I'm glad that uh, you know Wayne brought up the other issue because I'm just so used to this. I'm like, well, it's par for the course, but the public doesn't understand. The insiders are very tightly knit, and the two reporters are getting off on being let in on the goody. Oh, yeah. They think we're so blind – culturally, spiritually, intellectually, they can just parade around in front of us. And you heard her, yeah, there's going to be all the young people from the schools. How horrible the young people involved. I mean, it's right. just this, just this, this loving feeling they're part of the establishment. Was that not disgusting, Wayne Paul? It sure was, but let me point out the other side of the coin. The Republican Party control of Iowa have their head in the sand. They have an opportunity to bring on independents and young voters like they've never seen in their life. No, they they're discrediting their own state. Yeah. They, are, they are totally shooting themselves in the foot because they don't even care if their party grows in Iowa. They don't care if they don't have more people, yet they have a golden opportunity. Exactly. Most parties say they want to grow the party. People. Notice they don't want to do that. No. They're, oh, it's terrible. Young people are getting involved. Heavens, heavens forbid. The average age of the Iowa caucus voter is 60. So there you go. There's a big chance to bring in some youth, some some new ideas, and, and get things. But look, going. look, even if they derail Ron Paul this round, and, and as Wayne said, the momentum, you can feel it. I mean, it's big. It's ten times what it was four years ago. It doesn't matter. We win by fighting back. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. When you're out on the road... The last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They so pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit Put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't.
turn jeans inside out. Diamond Gusset Jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond Gusset Jeans got it. Others don't. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, your message, your mission, if you should choose to uh, accept it, is to get this article out to everyone. I know that Wayne, Rob Paul's brother, who's very involved, is going to get it directly to his brother. Republican insider, GOP establishment planning to subvert Iowa to prevent Ron Paul. She said the party's very concerned and they're going to do something. Well, we know what. They've got Anonymous out there protesting Ron Paul. Clearly works for them. They're so stupid they can't even hide that. Now running around having it moved to a secret location. Okay. And now they've got their operatives on the radio saying, oh, don't worry, we're going to fix it. I mean, Ron Paul probably needs to come out and point this out. But, uh, Wayne, you wanted to uh, add some points to this. Well, the biggest point I want to add is, is the fact that the Republican Party of Iowa is shooting themselves in the foot. They have an opportunity to dis double their size and their enthusiasm with young people to turn around and help Republicans win in Iowa and all over the country, and they don't want it. They they can't they they don't know what to do with it, and until that changes, and it is changing because it's changing in Texas. We've got a lot more people in the grassroots in Texas set up with the Republican Party of Texas, and and come March or April when we have our primaries here, they're going to have another wake up call. I thought it was called the Perry Party of Texas. Honestly. <laughs> no, but people are really waking up in Texas. Yeah, yeah but. I mean, you see Ron Paul stickers everywhere. Pardon me? I'm just saying you see Ron Paul stickers everywhere. Oh, yeah. And one one of the chairman of one of the largest precincts, Tarrant County, Texas, is a fervent Ron Paul supporter, and she just won the chairmanship. I was in South Carolina over Christmas, and I saw... 20 to 30 Ron Paul signs in the yards, uh, including a huge one right by this highway, one of the main highways there. And uh, this is a state that the governor came out and endorsed uh, uh, Mitt Rom or no, Newt Gingrich. So, I mean, and there's, I didn't see one Newt Gingrich, one Mitt Romney sign, not one Rick Santorum sign. All Ron Paul well, across the board. Great job, uh, dude, breaking this down for us. Wayne, we've got about two minutes left. I want to thank you for spending time with us. Hopefully, as the campaign unfolds, we can get you to pop back in. But I want to let you go so you can get in contact with your brother, Ron, and getting this story. I know they watch the site, uh, but uh, they may not have seen it yet. Closing comments in the two minutes we've got left, sir. Well, I'm delighted for the opportunity be on the radio, I again want to reiterate, we live in the most exciting times of my life. Uh, I, I think the, the United States uh, is going to change in terms of its economic environment. I believe we have the right answers when change is needed. And I think every citizen of the United States can look forward to an unbelievable prosperity in this country if we turn around and understand what's going on and we fight for our liberty it's all going to start today well you're right sir that's the key from reading all these public globalist documents they always talk about the problem of shutting economies down that things grow too quick and that that destroys their monopoly their centralization that's what they admit the Federal Reserve is for, as you know, to shut down our productivity because they want us dependent, living on a tiny chicken feed welfare check. Yep. If I could just jump in real quick. Yeah, the New World Order's got to be worried, Wayne. Yep. There's no doubt in my mind. I'm going to come back to you just since we're going to break. Uh, that, I know you've got more on this report. Uh, well, thank you so much, Wayne Paul, and we've sent that email to you. 
And uh, I just... Guys, can I stay on here until I get back to my computer to make sure I got it? Absolutely, sir. We'll talk to you during the break. We'll leave you on hold. All right. Hold on. All right. There goes uh, Wayne Paul. We're going to continue working on this. And then your calls are coming up. I meant to get to calls for him. But then I started noticing how big this story was. Because the problem is I get punch drunk. I mean, I'm around all this incredible news all day. And I kind of have that that window, uh, that blind spot where I just get so inundated with hardcore news that I stop even recognizing how incredible it is. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror, and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Did you ever think you'd be where you are a decade into the 21st century? Record foreclosure rates for homes, if not yours, your neighbors. Thankful for the unemployment check since you were laid off and placing your child's name on the angel tree in hopes of a Christmas gift along with thousands of other Americans. Did you ever think your future would feel this out of control? The fact is, in all this craziness, there's only one thing you can control. Your greatest dependency, your food supply. Make 2012 the year you take control by getting prepared. eFoods Direct introduces the best way to build your food supply in the 21st century. Get a 21-day supply of food free with purchase. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Take back control in 2012. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Remember, you can bet your life on eFoods Direct. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Okay, we're going to your phone calls and other key stacks of news dealing with the Second Amendment, Iran, and of course the Iowa caucus is coming up here in just a few minutes. But uh, one of our investigative reporters and director of the Nightly News, uh, Rob Dew is in studio with us, uh, going over some more facets of how we're going to try to stop fraud in Iowa. Now, again, Anonymous shows up and says, we're mad about the Iowa caucuses, and we're going to disrupt things. Again, Anonymous is just a cutout name the government can use and then blame on activism. Not saying everybody in Anonymous is bad, like Occupy Wall Street. It's a pool. So Soros and, and, and those people on record created Occupy Wall Street, put the call out, they didn't put any facts or, or a manifesto. Look out when somebody doesn't tell you what they stand for. That's always what a honeypot or an intelligence operation does. <laughs> on the treadmill this morning, I was uh, watching uh, American Gangster, which is based on a true story. It's got uh, Denzel Washington in it. And he's got one of the guys that works for him as a drug dealer. 
he comes over to him and the guy's made a bunch of money, so he's wearing a pimp suit, a fur coat and hat, and he goes, that's a arrest me outfit you're wearing. Take that off. That's why I'm always telling militia people, why are you at city council in, in Southeast Asia camo? Vietnam was 30-something years ago. I'm not making fun of people that want to dress up in camo and go out and do war games in the, in the woods. The point is that that you go to a militia meeting and there's three feds there saying, let's blow stuff up. And they think you're so dumb, you go outside, they're driving unmarked police cars. You know, the point is just don't be stupid. We're out front. We're the good guys. We're at city council in a button-up shirt or a suit and tie. We're the good guys. We're not hiding in what we're doing. And I've now digressed off into that, but... Uh, you know, the, the issue is they're trying to frame us as the outsiders. We're the common sense people here. Now, your phone calls are coming up here at 800-259-9231 here in just a moment. Uh, but I wanted to go back uh, to Rob Dew. We'll be covering this more on the nightly news tonight. We'll have more on the Iowa caucuses by then. Republican insider, GOP establishment planning to subvert Iowa to prevent Ron Paul win. And it's not even veiled. And the hosts are getting off on this. They're all getting off on like dress up, like a four-year-old girl dressing up like a fairy or a princess. You're not a fairy, you're not a princess. They're all dressing up like like they're part of the power structure. You know, I've been to uh, different political meetings you know, before, and, and there'll be just you know, regular citizens there getting off on these power trips, repeating the talking points of the county chairman. And, and, and getting off on, oh, we're going to strategize and, and win, we're going to... And it's, it, it's so pathetic to see a nation led by fools. I mean, that's like Herman Cain didn't know that North Korea had nuclear weapons. Uh, who was it? Sarah Palin thought South Korea was the enemy. I mean, again, the, the people they choose are political morons. Look, when you get into the real world, it's addicting to learn places, capitals, things, facts. You know how little you know. But compared to somebody that thinks they know it all, that's why it's so refreshing to interview Ron Paul. There's never any news item he doesn't know about. You know why? He's obsessed with the truth. Uh, he, he knows the Bill of Rights and Constitution. He knows history. He knows the facts. So he gets up and says, Israel created Hamas. They run a national ad saying he hates Israel and is evil. It's Harats and, Jer and, and Jerusalem Post and Wall Street Journal. I showed you the articles earlier. I showed you the information earlier. I mean, it, it's like Ron Paul says water is wet, and they go, this is insane. He says porcupine has sp uh, spines. He says a giraffe has a long neck. And they're like, that's insane. He says fire is hot. They go, that's crazy. And, and they're now there. They're so full of themselves. All these con artists and camp followers that they get on radio over multi-state areas and, and, and snicker about blocking somebody and he's not going to win. And that's done cynically so that Ron Paul voters on the fence think, well, I won't throw my vote away. I won't discredit my state. As if Ron Paul standing for election discredited your state. No, the control freaks telling you you're discredited are trying to discredit the entire electoral process. Rob, do break it down. Yeah, they're definitely trying to hijack it. Um, this came, this was in the email that, that took me to transparentvote.net, which I think we crashed when we talked about it because I, I went back to it uh, at the break and it was down. So. Uh, have patience, get on there, uh, become um, a member of it, and then upload those videos if you're in Iowa. It's definitely important to go there. But uh, it was reported to me that each precinct vote is tallied tomorrow night. The captain is to call a an 800 number in a secret location, which we already reported. This was going on. And the count, uh, and that they're only to give the count to the person on that line. And uh, so it's very important that people... That violates state election law. Sure. And so we need They're to supposed to publish it. Right, totally. And, and all right there, it's on, man. Yeah, no. And all we need is less than 2,000 people who really care about this country. Even if you're not a Ron Paul supporter, get out there and let's see the results. Let's let's have an honest election. And look. So then we can really talk there's about There's folks it. with bigger servers that can step up. We could duplicate this pretty quickly, or we can make sure it's all saved. You know, email it all the Ron Paul campaign yeah. gonna be, because this can always be put together later. Exactly. To show the fraud. Yeah. And, and then the, the other big one is New Hampshire. You know, they need people for New Hampshire, too, to to step up and go out there and, and get the real count, get a picture of the count, the signed card, however they do it, and, and then put that on the Web so other people can do it. And then people will tabulate it. There's plenty of people out there that will do. Well, that. what we need is the is the people there at all the caucus points. With the state law, in fact, we ought to go dig that up. I know it's there, mm -hmm. and, and, and Wayne just mentioned it, but I know that's the case in all of these. 
if you want to see those published, because especially in Iowa, you know, that's all supposed to be open. Right. They are supposed to publish it and put it up on the wall. Yeah. And, and, but, 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 but notice the Republicans are, for your safety, it'll be secret. Tell no one but the special person you'll be calling. Yeah. Uh, who, and who knows who that is? And then meanwhile, you know, they're running around saying, don't worry, we'll deal with it. He's not going to win. Oh, yeah. They're openly proclaiming that they're going to sway voters to go to either Santorum or Romney because those two have a chance. You know, and, and I don't think either one of them have a chance up against Obama. Honestly, they're both pretty Paul does better in polls than they do. Sure. And I keep hearing this new talking point by all the repeaters, all the jellyfish brains I heard on local radio. Ron Paul can't beat Obama. He does bad. He's actually in like six polls I've seen or more in the last month. that beats him by the biggest numbers. Yeah. They know that. They just... Again, the liars on top know it, but all these childlike people think it's like real cool to repeat what some liar said. It's like NFL stats or something. You know, it's just it's meaningless. Half of it, you know, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, like you you know, you watch the the sports center. She so can go down to the bar after you watch it and sit on your buddies and impress them. Yeah. Did you see Drew Brees? Although I'm a Saints fan, I like Drew Brees. <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> Look what you've turned into. I'm just teasing. No, I mean, my whole issue is our whole country's going down. They're getting rid of the Bill of Rights and Constitution. They say they're going to sign us all on to a thousand plus trillion, and we're all going to be bankrupt. And I'm just like, folks, we better get concerned. It'd be like if you came home and your house was on fire and flames are shooting out of the top story. And instead of calling the fire department, you said, I'm going to go in and turn on Sports Center. I mean, it's mentally ill. I totally. It's, and, 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 the, and these men get so obsessed with it. It's their little, so, and they want you to talk about it. And then you're weird. When you're actually into the real world and not into their little, you know, the, uh, you know, the jock that they've got a sexual fantasy for. Yeah. People should be obsessed with this because this is where we're going to at least start turning this thing around in the direction our country's going in. Because right now it's going to a dark place. And, you know, Ron Paul's one step in, in, the, in the change process. There's many others. And uh, Well, it shows the people are waking up. We're doing our job. And that's why the system's like, okay, we will start shutting down free speech on the web. Okay, we will start arresting people. Okay, we will start because they're scared because they're a bunch of dirty crooks. They could all end up going to jail like Madoff and Ken Lay. But that's why it's a test with the head of MF Global to see if they can take money, get caught lying in Congress, and notice he isn't in trouble. No, nothing's happened. And boy, let me tell you. Gerald Salente is uh, hopping mad about this. I mean, he's they they changed his bank statements essentially and said, "No, now you owe us money after we stole your money. You owe us more money." It's it's and it's all on record, uh, folks. No one pe people keep sending me emails and I see comments going, but I don't do anything. I don't have nothing to hide. Let there be a tyranny. Don't you get it? Tyrants want to shut down free markets. They want to screw up societies. They want post-industrial worlds. Because they like to control you. They want you poor. They want to consolidate everything. They're coming after you because you're gullible and have gone along with them. Why? I mean, it's like a gazelle saying, I didn't do anything to that lion. I don't know why it just, you know, it wants to eat me. I, I'm not going to hide from the lion or stay out of its way or run from it because, because I, 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 I don't, I'm nothing against the lion. It's a lion. It's going to eat you. It's, 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 it's the same reason in criminology that women. We'll get in cars with somebody wearing a suit and tie. The psychopaths will dress up in suits and ties, clean haircuts. Hey, how you doing? Let me give you a ride. You getting off work here at the mall? Yeah, I'll get a cup of coffee. You want to have some fun? Well, sure. Come on, get on in with me then. But they would never get in a car with somebody who looks like a homeless person, who chances are actually wouldn't hurt you right. if you study the criminology. Because, because well, you know, Rick Perry's wearing a suit. Uh, Mitt Romney's wearing a suit. Look out, folks. But, I mean, what can you say about Republicans when it's known that Mitt Romney is for abortion, open borders, carbon taxes, Obamacare, and gun control? Yeah. I mean, my, you people are – and you talk about how you're patriots and Ron Paul's bad and you're too ignorant to even know who he is. Look, just remember when – if Ron Paul doesn't get elected, we don't turn this around. Remember why your whole future is destroyed. I mean, these grown men literally obsess over being fearful of the Arabs all day. You got a better chance of being killed by a rattlesnake or champagne cork. Or a coconut. Or a coconut falling on you out of a tree. That's I mean, they live to get off on the fear. Mm -hmm. They are. They, they live to be cowards. They, they would do anything. They would give up all their rights, all their liberties to, to call into talk radio and say Alex Jones loves the Muslims and is a terrorist. I heard that last week on a national show. And the host is like, oh, yes, it's all true. And... and uh, because it just feels good tribally to be like part of a club. And meanwhile, if you tell the, you know, the so-called good old boy, hey, uh, 
The government actually runs Al Qaeda. Here's the proof. It just showed up, traitor. Ain't true. Ain't true. They're children, Rob. Yeah. That's why they're like, I can't believe Rob Paul says Israel started Hamas. It's in the Wall Street Journal and Jerusalem Post. I mean, can't we live in reality, little boy? No. Nope. Don't you ever call Obama supporters idiots. Yeah, they're idiots. I think you're even stupider. They want communism and, and to have their guns taken. They want open borders. They want their wages driven down. They love it. They at least know they're communists and enjoy it. You lecture us about Ken Dahl, Mitt Romney, and the demon Newt Gingrich, who are both illuminous, globalist, anti-American trash. HempUSA.org has a revolutionary wonder food for detoxing the body and rebuilding the immune system. Micro plant powder can help unclog arteries and soften heart valves while removing heavy metals, virus, fungus, bacteria, and parasites. Plus, it cleans and purifies the blood, lungs, stomach, and colon. Keep your body clean with micro plant powder. Visit us at HempUSA.org or call 908 69 one two six oh eight today hi this is ted anderson have you ever wondered why banks stockbrokers investment advisors won't talk about gold iras they've been available since 1986 yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement gold has outperformed paper investments yet no word about iras if you would like to have gold for your retirement call 800-686-2237 don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns call 800-686-2237 secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237 Folks, have you lost your power and wanted to simply flip a switch to get the lights back on? If so, this is going to be the most important message you'll ever hear. Because there's never been a better time to get ready for the winter power outages ahead. Here's why. Solar power generators are now available from our friends at Solutions from Science, one of our oldest sponsors. Their emergency backup systems provide life-saving electrical power when you need it most. Unlike gas generators, a solar generator runs quietly, emits no fumes, and produces electricity from the sun. It's like having an electric power plant running quietly in your own home. Whether it's ice storms, brownouts, or blackouts, you'll never have to suffer through painful power outages again. When the power goes out this winter, you'll be ready with a solar power generator from Solutions from Science. Go to MySolarBackup.com for more information. That's MySolarBackup.com or call 877-327-0365. After work, I just want to plop down on the couch and watch TV alone. Come on, don't be like that. Who are you? I'm you. 20 years ago, when you were full of energy, better shape, great attitude, and you didn't do so bad with the ladies. Now that you're older, your testosterone levels are dropping, and, well, you're not the guy you used to be. I'd give anything to feel like you again. Just try Ageless Male. It's a natural supplement proven in a clinical trial to boost testosterone 61%. And within normal healthy ranges, it's not an injection, not a prescription, and with healthy testosterone levels, you can feel the energy again. Not to mention a better mood and more drive in your romantic life. More drive, huh? I really need to try Ageless Mail. Where's my phone? You're laying on it. Oops. Call now for a risk-free trial of Ageless Mail. Just call 1-800-497-8345. 1-800-497-8345. 1-800-497-8345. If you're taking one, two, five, or more nutritional supplements, please stop. Simplify your supplementation with Bio Superfood, the most advanced nutritional whole food supplement you can buy. Men, women, children, even Olympic athletes the world over have discovered Bio Superfood from BioAge.com. And now take just one nutritional supplement instead of many. The Bio Superfood formulas are whole food products composed with four of the most nutrient dense algae found on Earth. Bio Superfood for the brain helps with focus, memory, clarity, and mood. If you can increase brain health, the rest of the body is a no brainer. Bio Superfood has zero toxicity and is safe for you and your family. Learn more and order your Bio Superfood formulas at bioage.com. Spelled B I O A G E.com. Bioage.com. Or call 877 288 9116. That's 877 288 9116. Bioage, the age of advanced organics. All right, let's go to your phone calls here. I'm going to break down, as I said, some of the non-election news here today. But we're not just covering an election. 
We're covering how the establishment tries to control people, all the dirty tricks. That article's red linked at Infowars.com. Republican insider GOP establishment planning to subvert Iowa to prevent Ron Paul. And if they do steal it, and there'll even be evidence, the so-called mainstream, because they tell you they're the mainstream, the con artist hoax media, the globalist banker-funded prostitute operation, the zombie control system, the zombie control signal will come out and say it's a conspiracy theory. I mean, you could have them, you could have them publicly say, we're stealing it now, and, and have it all on video, nationally on TV. They would still say, well, totally reasonable. That's how dumb they think you are. Well, whatever. We are turning the tide. The people are waking up and not buying it anymore. Every number we've got shows it. The media is not the media. It's discredited. And that's why they're trying to come in and start shutting things down. Because they're a pack of propagandists for criminal interests that have hijacked this country through fraud. And nothing's going to change that fact. So go ahead and try to start your martial law. Go ahead and start a physical war with people that just bought 3 million guns in the month of December. Go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, I don't want to go there. But you are a bunch of knuckle draggers, and you're not going to stop. I understand that. You're just like Hitler and Stalin and Mao and every other scum out there and all the camp followers that get off on tyranny and worship the dark power of evil. You will be defeated. Just wait. Look where we were four years ago. We'll be in four. Go ahead, nuke some cities. Go ahead, blow some stuff up and say Al-Qaeda Easter Bunnies did it. We're going to be there watching you this time and exposing you did it. It's over. It's over, criminals. We're not going to stop. We're going to bring you to justice. Marie in Florida, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Uh, yes, sir. Um, it was really great to hear Mr. Paul. And I just have a suggestion for all your listeners they need to call the U.S. Congress switchboard. That number is 1202-224-3121. And complain about this NDAA, the new act, the National Defense Authorization Act. I don't think it's bad to let the criminals know we're aware of it. But, yeah, find out those that voted for it. There's a list of it and call them. But that's why they signed the NDAA, because they know you're calling them. They know you know they're criminals. They know they have a 9% approval rating. They know they insider trade publicly and, and, and help ship narcotics into the country and guns out of it. I mean, they're caught. They know they're criminals. They know we know. But, yeah, call them and let, just call them and let them know that you know they're criminals. Yes, sir. We need to use our avenues that are still open. My mother grew up under Hitler's tyranny, and she told me how Hitler took over. She grew up in Austria. He did it the same way. He said, be patriotic and lick the government's boots or you're a terrorist. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tell us what she told you. Well, she said that the first election Hitler was in, what, there were two people on the ballot. And every election after that, there was only one person on the ballot, and that was Hitler. We are really at the we are at a very dangerous time. We really need to jump up and down right now yeah. and really gra grab our rights back, Mr. We need to grab them back. Right I agree. Now. Instead, the bankers just finance both parties and always have a stable of little puppets that don't even know where South Korea is. You know, Sarah Palin, South Korea's got nukes. And, and uh, you know, Herman Cain, you know, didn't know that China had nukes. I mean, it's just insane. I mean, they've got a bunch of insane morons. When you see those politicians, most of them are nobodies. They couldn't figure out how to tie their shoelaces politically, but it's the controllers above them. Now, when you see a Lindsey Graham or you see a Jay Rockefeller or you see a Lieberman or you see a McCain, that's a demon. I mean, when they're up there celebrating butchering the Bill of Rights, and 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 getting excited and and Lindsey Graham hopping around on stage. We played it last night going, we're going to arrest citizens. And when you ask for a lawyer, we're going to say no lawyer for you. I mean, it's just some scary power tripping, just just little prancing pansy. Tyrants are usually little limp wristed pansies for whatever reason. They like to prance around and I'm just sick of them all. Anything else, ma'am? Yes, sir. They didn't know at the time what was hitting them. They, they were uh, fooled. They were like we, you know, like some of us are. They thought, oh, he's going to help us after World War yeah, One devastation. Yes. And, and also the, the currency was worth nothing. 
but well, that's the deal. Uh, yeah, the, the Hitler type stuff comes next. This banker breakdown, that's what the system's going to call for a dictatorship is the answer to problems. And then the real answer is going the opposite direction. Great points. Good to hear from you. Appreciate you holding. All right. Vulture, Andrew, Leon, Jeff. And we got Vulture. We also have uh, Keebler calling. We're going to be right back on the other side with your phone call. Straight ahead. I'm going right into him. Bam, bam, bam. 800-259-9231. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step by step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. I have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at InfoWars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. in here for this segment thanks to aaron dykes his chihuahua rocky loves me so much uh, 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 anybody in the office do you know, dogs always love me i go to people's houses and they say their dogs usually hate everybody but dogs love me they've always loved me and, and, and so rocky was begging to get in here and he actually ran in the studio i had to kick him out of here before i went live actually chris will you bring me rocky for prisonplanet.tv viewers by the way i forgot to add we've added a feature where uh, you can uh, watch uh, the daytime radio slash TV show at prisonplanet.tv. If, if you go to Infowars.com, uh, normally where it's that audio flash player, 
Uh, now that opens to a window of different audio uh, options, but then there's also uh, the video of the show there um, at uh, Infowars.com. I'll bring him to me. What a good creature. Come here, boy. Ah, this is. I'm like, why am I running Rocky off, actually? I mean, if he wants to come see me, he can. Are you a little bit nervous now? So you don't like Chris, do you? I'm just joking. He likes, he likes everybody. Come here. You're a good boy. You want to you wanna co-host a show with me? Huh? Is that what you like? I don't get kisses. What? Are you camera shy? You always give me kisses. I don't get kisses right now. What's wrong? <laughs> this is a cute little chihuahua. Uh, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go back to the calls. Vulture in Oklahoma, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, how you doing, Alex? I'm doing good, but I'm here with an Al-Qaeda operative. It supports Ron Paul. His dog does, so it's not a good person. It's an extremist. An operative, too. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, uh, I, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a veteran, and uh, I know I'm going to be targeted later on. I'm probably on some fusion list right now for even calling in and having my Ron Paul flag outside so oh you got a ron paul flag i mean we've got the homeland security memos they tell cops you see that it's a terrorist i mean if somebody actually supports what america's founded on that's bad i mean again i want to say this america doesn't exist anymore except in our minds the criminals that run the government are are admitted criminals the white house has been caught shipping guns into mexico to blame the second amendment and drugs back in it's in all the court documents but the dinosaur media will only cover 1% of that. It's actually come out in the New York Times now. But the point is, these are criminals. These are criminals. None of us are safe until they're removed. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, no no doubt. I, I agree with you there. And I, I have firsthand experience with dealing with these people. I used to work for the Oklahoma Supreme Court here. And, you know, I, I, I've dealt with the some of the justices, and these people do not think like most people walking around. They look at us like we're animals. I've even heard one of them say that, that we are, you know, regular people are animals. Well, they do. They, they put they, chemicals they, in the food and water. They treat us just like animals. They manipulate us just like animals. And they get this incredible arrogance, but only by us buying into their lies do we become animals. Tell me more about how they call us animals. Well, it, 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 you know, people get to... People get to talking when they have a few drinks, and I've been to a few events where, you know, these are, these are the kind of folks that they like to drink. You know, that's that's their that's their cup of tea, and you know, their their true selves come out. I mean, they they have a fake front that they put up for everybody, and 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 then there's you know there, there's there's the real person behind it, and you know, especially alcohol. That's a, that that's a that's the drug that, that that's the truth bringer more than any any of them out there. Uh, People act act the true nature. No, it's the and, it's uh, the uh, it's the truth serum. Exactly. So yeah, like I guess back in the day when I drink some, I buy everybody dinner. But people that aren't very nice uh, start acting all crazy when they've been drinking. <laughs> now, 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 let's expand on this. Uh, what'd you originally call in about Vulture? Well, I originally called in because uh, the reason I left working there, I, I started seeing some things that they were doing some uh, things they were trying to put in place. And, uh, you know, after being a listener for your, you know, with your show for a couple of years and working where I worked and seeing the things that I saw and the attitudes, you know, towards, you know, people and in, in general and uh, the architecture they were putting in for their uh, new tracking for people across the state. It's a new software they're wanting to put in. It's a unified case management system. And this will allow them to swipe your card and I know this is available in some other states, but there's a big push to nationalize it. Uh, you'll be able to swipe your card when you get pulled over. It'll bring up every bit of information about you. Though they won't have to deal with dispatch anymore. Uh, and if you're wanted for something on the other side of the state, they'll be able to, you know, haul you in right then and there. You get transported, and it, it, it's it's all part. And of again, that would be great, except that criminals run the system. And so they're undoubtedly, the entire architecture of it is pointed at the American people. And the tyrants, in many cases, and there are some good members of Congress, some good members, you know, some good judges out there. But by and large, more and more, the criminals, the control freaks, the tyrants are re 
recruiting their brethren into more and more positions, as as the, the public wakes up to them, they're going to get more and more disgusted with us and, and have more and more hatred for us. Well, I, I, I scared the, I'm, I'm scared of the end game. Like I said, I, I know because I'm a veteran, I'm going to be targeted. And I, I tell you one reason, one reason above all, veterans are, are going to be targeted. And it's because we have the training and the ability to create other soldiers. Now, that's it. Force multipliers. Look, I appreciate your call, but listen, don't be afraid of them coming after you. And I, and I understand you're concerned. That's what you mean by afraid. Be afraid that you're not going to make every day as full as it should be and treat every day as if it's your last. So many times I look at myself in the mirror before I drive into work. I'm brushing my teeth and I think you could do a lot better job. You do this radio and TV so much that it just becomes routine and you don't rise to the occasion of the magnitude of what you're doing. Do this next radio show like it's your last day. I mean, I've given speeches to, to the city council of Austin. You've seen it in the Matrix of Evil. Uh, and I remember uh, Martin Sheen and um, Emilio Estevez, that's what turned them on to my show. Somebody gave them the videotape of that and they were so amazed because you watch it, it is like a movie, some closing argument. And, and, and we didn't have the votes to defeat the Patriot Act here in town and have them have a law against it and say they would uphold the Constitution. But my speech turned them in the speech of others, and they said, some of them, to actually vote against the Patriot Act and for the Constitution. But the point is, we all have that capability to really communicate and really cut through all the baloney and really reach people. And uh, I also want to challenge you out there because every time I get mad at myself, I remember, hey, at least I'm taking action. I'm, you know, I'm getting in the arena every day. And that's why we've been effective. Uh, and yes, we should treat every day like it's our last. But now is the time to reach out to people across the board. Now is the time to do banner hangs. Now is the time to call into talk radio. Now is the time to send emails. Now is the time to shoot your own YouTube videos, just talking about issues. Whether they get 100 views or 10,000, now is the time to go get a local access TV show or go buy an hour a week on the local talk station on the weekend. And if your show gets popular, you know, in two years or a year, you might end up on weekdays being paid to be on. A lot of people have done, done that, what I told them to do. Uh, I mean, I was blessed. I was paid day one to be on the radio because I went and did an access TV show, but paid to be on there, a paltry sum. And then they saw I had, quote, talent and, were, and, the, and they were patriots. Uh, and put me on the air. Then other management came in and tried to tell me not to do that, and then they fired me. But that, it didn't matter. I had been launched. And so many people call me and they say, yeah, I went and paid for an hour on Sundays, and it got popular, and so they gave me two hours, and now they've got me filling in for the other host during the week when they're gone, and then they call back. Now I've been given uh, a weeknight show, and, and I've got tens of thousands of listeners. Look, you're only... There was a fellow who works for Rand Paul's campaign. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, well, works in his office in a prominent role. And he was one of my listeners. And so he went and volunteered when, 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 when you heard Rand Paul basically launch his candidacy here. And it was our listeners that showed the first interests, uh, you know, the first in, uh, interest to get him kind of to go ahead and go for it. And so most of the people that went and volunteered day one were my listeners. And uh, just because he was somebody who was there from the beginning uh, and would actually get the job done and work 18 hours a day, now he is prominent in Rand Paul's office and now is going to be involved in other things. I mean, he was never a, a, a political uh, scientist. He didn't go to school from that. He was a veteran, just a listener of the show. And now the, his whole destiny has been changed by going and volunteering. He didn't think he'd ever. But, but see, a lot of times, so much of this world is about showing up. You want to get in shape? Show up at the gym every day. See what happens. You want to learn a foreign language? Show up every day and study it for an hour. You'll learn it. You want to learn how to defend yourself? Go take jujitsu or taekwondo or uh, judo. You're going to get good. I mean, it, it, I mean, look, I, I'm going to go to your calls. I was always a total, you know, exercise fiend. Never really ate that well, but I ran six miles every other day, lift weights seven days a week, was addicted to it. 
And then I got into radio and TV and got so busy, I just gave it up for about six, seven, eight years. Gained 40, 50 pounds, got totally out of shape. And then the last five years, I've been trying to jog, trying to lift, trying to get back in shape. Didn't do it. So I said about a month and a half ago, I said, I'm going whole hog. I'm going to jog twice a day almost every day. I'm going to lift weights at least two or three times a week. And I'm not going to stop. And I've lost now 25 pounds in a month and a half. 25 pounds. You know what? I, I'm not talking. I'm doing it. I'm going to lose another 35 I'm going to lose another 35. And again, I hit a bump in the road. I've never had a weightlifting accident in all my years of lifting weights, playing football, everything. But I was lifting Saturday afternoon. I'd been for a jog. I went into lift, and I'm and so I don't injure myself. I was I'm doing light weights, 20 reps, 30 reps. I had 120 pounds, you know, with the bar included on an incline. And I was watching some of these high schoolers that were in there, and they were doing explosive lifting with pulleys. And I thought, yeah, I ought to try some of that because that's good to, you know, you know, build the uh, the fast twitch muscles. I've been pretty much building slow twitch. And I said that'll burn some weight. So I said I'm going to go put lighter weight on here, and I'm going to do th you know 30 reps or so, and uh, I'm going to try to explode. Well, I get the weight, and of course it's so light, I'm not really having to explode, but but about 25 into it. I'm having to explode to get it off my chest. Well, I exploded too much. It, my hands were tired. It was the last exercise I was doing of about 15 or so. It was like my fifth set of it. It flies out of my hands, another foot in the air, and, and, and by, I couldn't stop. It falls right on my chest. I got a huge bruise across me, cracked my sternum. It hurts to breathe, but you know what? I got so out of shape, I deserve the pain. I've been running every day despite the fact that it hurts. And I'm, in that I'm just doing it. You, just like the Nike saying, you know, and I don't particularly like Nike because they're slave camps, but the point is, just do it. And it's the same thing in politics and everything else. I, there's no half measures here. I'm not going to jog a couple times a week and go lift weights once a week in kind of a, you know, half measured way. I've got to get in shape. I've got to get obsessed with this. You got to decide, folks, what you want, liberty or tyranny. It's the same thing in life. I have dedicated myself to fighting tyranny to the point I was so dedicated I quit working out, you know, 10 or more years ago. And so now I've got to bring balance into that. And I'm trying to do that. But it, it, anything in life takes a commitment. It takes a commitment. I'm going to stop preaching. Man, I'm a long-winded creature. Leon. And then Andrew and others. Leon, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good afternoon, Alex. How are you? I'm doing pretty uh, I'm good. Sorry to hear about your uh, your accident there. That's not. Hey, good. it's fine. I think it's going to make me stronger. You know what? Honestly, I I don't know if you remember. We've actually met, and I you know doing radio here in Las Vegas. We've uh, done simulcast in the past. I oh, is it Leon Catlett? As a matter of fact, it is. Hey, yeah. how you doing, buddy? I, I've gotten your messages. I've been wanting to come on. I just haven't had time to really do any radio, but I'd love to come on your show and love to get you on sometime. Hey, I'd love to anytime, you know, in fact, you know, if you ever need anybody sitting in, I'd love to volunteer my services for your effort any day of the week. And, you know, just knowing the intense person that you are, I could just picture you doing the whole explosion thing, lifting the weights and having that thing flying out of your hand and landing on your chest. Well, I mean, it wasn't like some big powerful explosion. I'm pretty weak now. But, yeah, no, I was just exploding, you know, to get it off my chest and then just did it too much and it flew. Yeah, exactly. I understand, and he, yeah, because I, I mean, I've lifted a little bit, not much in the past, but yeah, and like I said, knowing how intense you are, I could just see that happening. Anyway, you know, I called in because, uh, and obviously it's evolved a lot over the show because you've tough, covered so many different things, but this whole vote thing going on in uh, uh, in Iowa is so important that people get involved in, and we stop this vote for Adam fraud. I'm so glad you mentioned uh, Bev Harris that you're having her on. Uh, Black well, this Republican lady bragging about how he she's talked to the top Republican Party people and they're going to make sure he doesn't win. You know, we've got ways behind the scenes. Ha, ha, ha. She, you know, if Ron Paul gets chicaned, then she needs to be hauled up before a grand jury and, and needs to be asked, who told you they were going to fix things? You there, Leon? The GOP is is like a corkscrew. They're so darn crooked. We have seen it time and time again. When Aaron Russo ran for government, the core establishment lied, cheated, and stealed to to prevent him from being a major candidate. And then it came around with the uh, Ron Paul election, the uh, the first round, oh eight, and the state the the core GOP shut down the state convention. 
to prevent a Ron Paul win. And now this time, of course, they and they keep progressing with all these rules that they put into place to prevent people from, uh, you know, from getting involved and being part of the process. And you can just see this whole thing going on in uh, in Iowa, the progression of it. Ron Paul was kicking Heine in all the polls. They they had to admit that he was going to win the Iowa. He was he was gaining a few points every day two weeks ago, so they went into complete ape mode. Exactly, and then the Iowa, or the the governor come out and made his statement, and then this whole stupid anonymous thing is so obvious, you know, with the uh, the Occupy Wall Street, the video I seen of that, the the guys holding an end the Fed sign. And Ron Paul is the leader of end the Fed. No, no, they did that as a psyop to confuse things. Look, this is right out of George Soros. Exactly, and so uh, you know, like I said, the whole what is it the uh, the transparentvoting dot org. Yeah, we crashed that site, but regardless, everybody take photos at your precinct. We'll get them collated one way or the other, and 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 and, and, and again, demand to you know that it be openly announced the vote and who won. They've always done it before, but now for security reasons, they've got to hide it. And and the uh, and by the way, I've seen the report. The guy with the in the Fed sign protesting Ron Paul, he's reportedly the first one to upload the anonymous video launching all of this. I mean, how obvious does it have to get? Hey, I hear the music coming up. Alex, I want to thank you so much for your efforts. You're doing a great job out there. And uh, Leon, you, know, you are too. How do folks listen to you in Las Vegas? Uh, it's Speak Out Radio right now. and We're uh, we're trying to get the show back up and running because uh, actually we had to move stations. But I understand. Well, I look forward to it. Maybe I should have you on as a guest sometime. Uh, in fact, on the nightly news, we'll give you a call. Send me another text. My, my phone got wiped the other day. Digestive health is the key to wellness and elimination of toxins. That bears repeating. Digestive health is the key to wellness and elimination of toxins. And Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse is the key to digestive health. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic, strong enough to cleanse, gentle enough to use every day. Pro-EM-1 is dairy, wheat, and soy free, contains all natural and certified organic ingredients, contains no preservatives or animal products, supports a healthy digestive and immune system, supports weight loss, improves absorption of food nutrients, aids in controlling yeast infections, is never freeze-dried, and uses three groups of live viable beneficial microbes to cleanse and remove toxins. Order Pro EM1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com. Spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Terraganics.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Pro EM1, the raw probiotic. In the event of an emergency, do you really trust Obama and the federal government to provide for you and your family? Modern day emergencies like floods, tornadoes, earthquakes, snowstorms, terrorist attacks, or anything else can strike anywhere, leaving your family vulnerable. That's why you can't afford to be without emergency food supplies. If you're like most people, you know that you need emergency food supplies, but you keep putting it off. So to help you, Ready Reserve Foods is offering a free sample kit of emergency food so you can test our food for yourself. The food really is free. You simply pay for the shipping and we'll send you the food for free. To get your free sample kit of emergency food, simply call 800-453-2202 or visit readyreservefoods.com. Again, that's 1-800-453-2202 or readyreservefoods.com. Don't wait. Call now because the free sample kits are limited. So call 800-453-2202 or readyreservefoods.com. Ready to save while getting prepared? Then you're ready for the winter sale at 21stCenturyGoods.com. Take advantage of the incredible savings on all items at 21stCenturyGoods.com. Portable AM, FM, and shortwave radios from 1995. American Red Cross emergency radios and Cato radios from 2895. Solar lanterns from 2295. Solar flashlights, two for 1695. Hand crank LED hurricane lanterns and flashlights from 895. Be sure to check out the flexible solar panels to power your emergency and survival gear. Every order over $75 will receive a solar-powered flashlight absolutely free. So get prepared this winter by visiting 21stCenturyGoods.com. Spelled the number two, the number one, S-T, CenturyGoods.com, 21stCenturyGoods.com. Or call 866-999-8422. That's 866-999-8422. 21stCenturyGoods.com. Power up your survival. Hey, 
everybody. Uh, we're back live. It's Mark Levin here. Yo, Ron Paul. Ron Paul. He's an egomaniac, and, and he, he's a communist, and I hate him. And I pledge to defeat him because uh, I'm a conservative. That's why I like Mitt Romney. I like Newt Gingrich. Open borders, abortion, gun control, everything else, uh, uh, carbon taxes. Yeah, yeah, the Republican Party uh, going along with the bailouts. Yeah, yeah, we need to nuke everybody. I'm real conservative. I like the NDAA. Let's arrest everybody. Yeah, I'm this is Mark Levin here, ladies and gentlemen. I am a real conservative. Uh, that's why the establishment forces me down your throat. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, Kurt Nemo thought that was really funny. He was there. It's actually Kurt Nemo's article. Radio host uh, Levin threatens to defeat Rand Paul. If Ron Paul runs for third party, Mark Levin will destroy him. It's me. It's Mighty Mouse. Oh, all these neocons, all these rhinos are so pathetic. Savage showed his true colors last week, saying Ron Paul's a threat and evil and horrible and, and, and agree with the caller that I'm bad and all this other stuff. I mean, it's just bizarro. I never even talk about these guys either. You know, I, I just don't want to attack all these countries, and I want my tax money back. I know the Republicans are globalists, and, you know, I play clips of Republican presidents calling for world government, and then, and then I get made fun of, like, you guys control reality. I'm sorry you don't control reality. And my audience is bigger than both of yours put together, and you know it. But it's not about how I have a big audience. Quite frankly, it's creepy how big my audience is. I don't like being in this position. But somebody's got to tell it like it is, like Ron Paul. And when we take America back, all the government payments and all the White House visits by talk show hosts and all the talking points are going to come out. Why don't you go ahead, Mr. Levin, and tell us how much you love Obama? Yeah. Because he actually, you give him right cover, Obama does everything you want. Obama's not a secret Muslim, or maybe he is like CIA run Al-Qaeda, Mark. You, you wanted to protect us so bad from Al-Qaeda. Well, uh, yeah, why don't you tell us how our government created Al-Qaeda? Or how Israel created Hamas, huh? I'm Mark Levin. I tell you what reality is. Ron Paul is bad. I will destroy you. I do what I say. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm out of control now. <laughs> it's weird talking with my nose held like that. <laughs> oh, actually, if I cackle like a witch and hold my nose, I'll have Mark Levin's laugh down. Hold on. <laughs> I'll get that. I'll get you and your little dog, too. <laughs> oh, man. They were just showing me the Cobra Commander outfit somebody sent us. Uh, I think Cobra Commander is going to show up on the nightly news tomorrow night endorsing Mitt Romney and Obama. Cobra Commander endorses the takeover of America and the secret arrest of citizens. I also like Mark Levin. There you go. Biggest plug you ever got at the biggest audience ever. All right, I got to do five minutes of overdrive just to get to the calls. But let's jam in one here as a tail gunner on the official show. Andrew in Virginia, you're on the air. Sorry that Mark Levin broke in over the show. Uh, no problem, Alex. Uh, oh, welcome to, welcome to the show there. I'm, 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 I'm. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I've actually been trying to call in uh, since Wednesday because uh, I've had a personal experience actually affect uh, my girlfriend. Well, you're on the air now. Let's get rid of all of our rights such as net people. Well, uh, actually, her constitutional rights were completely taken from her in a hospital setting this week. Well, she probably deserves it, a Muslim. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's a kind of a lot I'll tell you now. what we need to do. We need to arrest all the Muslims. And get rid of everybody else's rights while we do it. Tell you what, stay there. I want to hear about what happened to your uh, wife or girlfriend on the other side. We'll be right back. Stay with us. See you tonight on the news, 7 o'clock. Go Ron Paul, baby. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. 
So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Yep, there's a bunch of crooks running our country. They want to set up open martial law so we can't take our country back. They're not done raping and robbing us yet. We're going back to your calls. So, Andrew, in Virginia, uh, tell us what happened. Okay, so uh, this, this all started last Wednesday when, um, well, first of all, my girlfriend is a type 1 diabetic that has uh, suffered from that since age 15 and also has some additional complications. That so what did they do at the hospital? Okay, so she came in with a wound that um, was inflicted during what, what is known as diabetic ketoacidosis, where which is essentially unregulated blood sugar. And uh, once the you know uh, levels get so high, it makes someone delirious. Uh, Talk right into your telephone. Right. Uh, can you hear okay, me? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, what did they say? Okay. So we get there, and immediately um, they take us into the emergency room and put us in the family room. Right. Um, at that point, instead of focusing on the medical emergency... They were trying to imply that you'd beaten her because they get some bonus cash if they send you to the Husqvar. Exactly. So, and now if you ever try to have a baby with her, there's no judgment, no arrest, or no record. They'll say they're going to try to take your kid saying, well, you were there once. I know people publicly get their noses broken at softball games, and they take people's whole families. And you've got 100 witnesses, and they're like, doesn't matter, your kids are gone, we're big fat pedophiles. Hail the new world order. If you don't like it, you're evil. Okay, so what happened? So the control freaks waddle in. What happened next? Right. So um, it's, you know, they first sent an EMT in who verified that the wound needed stitches and was serious. And the only thing covering at this point was gauze we had brought in from... No, no, everything is a police state now. Everywhere you've got to be treated like a prisoner. This is all prisoner training. So, so the long and short of it, what happened? Okay, so then um, they send in the mental health professional. Without yeah, which is going to run a PSYOP. They don't read you your rights, anything. Listen, every every time we've had a baby, they ask me, oh, will you go put this paper downstairs for us? And then as soon as I leave, is he beating you? Do you have enough money at home? And they're just putting it all in a database. Sorry, go ahead. So how did this end? Okay, exactly. So um, it, it ended with essentially them bullying her for the next 48 hours. And uh, she had to be admitted for the DKA, the diabetic ketoacidosis, and had to stay in the yeah, but they wanted a juicy plump. They wanted to open a perp file on you. So they bullied her to do what? Well, they bullied her. They were bullying her into being committed, actually, because they were trying to say that she was suicidal and a danger to her. Oh, yeah. Well, see, a lot of hospitals can get double or triple funding. Like when they grab a little baby at two and put her on Prozac by saying it's mentally ill when it cries for its mommy that they've just jacked. Then federal funding for a, uh, you know, a, 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 quote, ill child comes in special needs. And so they always jack them on more drugs. So they, so the hospital basically kidnapped her. Yeah, basically. They uh, just wanted to continually bully her into signing a uh, form saying that she would voluntarily go, but... Okay, so how did this how did this black op end? Okay, well, it ended with them bullying her for over 48 hours, threatening to drag her out of a hospital bed with the police uh, and take her down to the psychiatric... Yeah, hospital. just total control freak, Nazi zombies everywhere. So how did it right. end? It ended with the county actually coming in because we were refusing everything the hospital was saying, saying we wanted to leave, etc. They bring the county in, and they do another biased... Um, yeah, the schools, the hospitals, the car places, they're all little prison induction centers. And all these little petty nobodies get off on it. Okay, okay so we're almost out of time. How did this end? Okay, it ended with her being indefinitely detained. Um, they, they ended up pulling her into the thing. Indefinitely detained? Oh, because she, oh, she's Al-Qaeda? Uh, apparently so. So <laughs> uh, they ended up. You know, bullying her into that, they take her to the facility. We just got her out on Monday um, after fighting, you know, 
tooth and nail, threatening lawsuits, et cetera. They even admitted that they were in the wrong. They oh, no, no, that. no, no, no. That's a black op. you got to get out of town. They're going to try to set you up again. It's pure evil. Listen, it came out in the, in the 90s, but when I was in the 80s, I had friends who I played football with and stuff who didn't even smoke marijuana. And their parents would grab them and send them to these centers where they basically tortured them. And then they would do all this stuff to them till their insurance ran out and then release them. And, 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 and again, that's what it is, is that uh, it, it, I guarantee it was probably a charity hospital, even though you were probably paying. And see, they get all this government funding by doing that. And so you just ran into a nest of vipers. Uh, but uh, look, send me your name, send me your info, write up, do a YouTube of what happened. Get your wife on there with them. Name names, go after them. Because believe me, they're feeding on kids in there right now. There are limitless ways to go into business for yourself, but most involve substantial capital and risk. Our